Twitch stream for our Monday evening constructed stream where we're going to be playing some standard and we are playing Teamer Control Ramp World Soul Rage Aftermath Analyst Shenanigans, aka Teamer No Gurk. Because I was shocked to learn there are no Gurks in the deck. Andrew, where are the Gurks? There aren't any Gurks in this deck. Great. No Gurks? Ugh. Well, it definitely might be bad Gurk, but I want to give it a chance. It's picking up too much. Too yeah. many people are playing it. Yeah. So, I, I, I'm definitely not sold, but I think I think I need I think I think I the the the, the public has forced me to investigate. Yeah. Are you world sold? Not your best one. <laughs> <laughs> Great question about today's candle sponsor. Today we have this lovely. This one's really big, so I have to take some effort to turn it around. Red berry and oak candle. A lot of notes on this one. Red currant, black rose, patchouli, bergamot, tuberose, oak moss, ode, and vetiver candle from Better Home and Gardens. Derek, why are you why are you hitting us with a boo? <laughs> you can't just hit us with a boo, you know? And hey, Hughes Whites, thanks for the uh, subscription! Great to have you back. Surprise, this isn't an Anything Goes stream. Well, we had to cancel last Friday, so, you know, a little bit of the anything got sent over to uh Well, I think Teamer at this point today. is becoming a pretty legit deck in Standard. Yeah. Like, kind of a lot of people are playing it and stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know I don't know how good it is or isn't, but, like, it's kind of popular. Yeah. Um, but, okay, Here, here's the, here's the premise. <laughs> oh, you're booing my joke? <laughs> Wait, which joke? <laughs> the world, when you said, are you sold? And I, you said, you're not sold. And I said, what about being world sold? Would you say that your joke was a bit ill-timed? I was really hoping that if I repeated it, it would be funnier the second time. You know, maybe they didn't get it. Yeah, it wasn't really funnier. <laughs> All right, so I want to talk, talk about Team of World Souls Rage for a moment here. Okay, tell me about Team of World Souls Rage. Okay, well, the premise of Team of World Souls Rage is pretty simple. Yeah. The idea is that it's, 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 uh, it's Sultai Gurk, but it's more consistent in, like, three different ways. Okay. Like... So uh, I guess I'll start. I'll start naming some of the ways. Well, first of all, it's it's less colors in the sense that it does not have to cast Atraxa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's sixty cards, which means you draw Aftermath Analyst and Nissa more frequently. Yeah. And when I talked to Tommy, uh, he he claims that his his thesis on these Gurk decks generally is basically you want to draw Aftermath Analyst and Nissa as frequently as possible every game as many times as you can, and he yeah. and he thinks very little else is important. Yeah. Like. Sort of like the other car, the like exact other cards you find limit, unimportant. Like exactly how you kill them once you mana, unimportant. What matters is drawing those two early and often. Okay. And so his thesis in order to draw them more often is to play Seed of Hope. Because it finds, say with me, after they lost Anissa, and that's what matters. Yeah. Uh so so that that's that that's kind of the idea. Now, World Souls Rage itself also, I think, is a big part of the draw to this deck. Yeah. And it's not a draw because it's a kill condition, or rather, it's a draw because it's a kill condition that's incredibly compact and a good card to just have. Yeah. It, 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 it's, a, it's a draw because casting Explosive Vegetation plus Shock is pretty good. Um, often, I think... what Whose theory is Steve Hope? It's... Well, I, I learned about it from Tommy. So... I give Tommy all the credit for it. Um, that, that is friend of the stream, Tommy Ashton slash Janerson, 30 time Magic Online PTQ winner, which sounds like exaggeration, but I think that's close to the actual number. Wow. Um, Should we make so, it our deck art? Nice. Yeah. Um, it might be bad though. Tommy told me it might be bad. Nice. He told me it was pretty good for him, but he did some math and the math was concerning. Mm, that's, okay. that's, that's what he actually told me. <laughs> that's but, really funny. <laughs> so, so anyways, uh, but yeah, so I... I um I uh I played this card in a PTQ top eight. I think the Shigeki loops are complete nonsense. I don't think you need Shigeki loops. Yeah. I think the Shigeki loops are an example of like people people talking about like people are talking about like you know oh like I'm gonna have just all this mana and nothing to do with it and then I'm gonna loop my Shigeki and I'm just like eh, it's fine. So I'm not worried about that. And I'm worried that Turtle's an egregious card to register if you don't, like, have a loop with it, where Shigeki is actually just like, I don't know, once I have, like, a bajillion mana, I'm pretty down to just regrowth, like, four cards. Yeah. And thanks, Sandy. It's good to be back. 
Good to be back from the chaos dimension. It was very chaotic over there, you know? But, but yeah, th this list is not too opinionated. Like, I don't know that much about this deck, and I'm not trying to, trying to claim that. It's mostly the only actual opinion is Seed of Hope, which might be bad, but I think the theory does make sense. Yeah, that sounds about right. 10% chance. That seems... Oh, I guess I was... There's World Soul Rage, this, this. Hmm. There's World Soul's Rage, Memory Deluge, Old Time Explosion, and the one Doppelgang. Are yeah. the misses. Okay. Yeah. It's it's any permanent can come back? Okay. Any permanent. Yeah. Lands are included, and yep. lands are important. Yep. Um, but I don't know for sure. It, it, oh, it, it, hitting Virtue is a pretty important part of it. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> God damn it, Azax. Um, Azax, I feel like I'm... Oh, I'm I, I, the days of me being tormented by Azax are long over. It's been like a year since I've been tormented by Azax. You think the turtle makes the front half of Virtue into a card? I think that if you think the front half of Virtue isn't a card, you shouldn't play it. The Wait, which half of Virtue are you calling the front he, he, half? So, so sorry. What, what, what Annie Awkward is saying is that you can re, the regrowth, you can like turtle something and then bring back the turtle thing oh, you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But like, the way I feel is that I think Garen Regrowth is just already a card. Yeah. And if you don't think Garen Growth is already a card, I don't think you should even play this card. Yes. Like, I don't even think you need to triple your mana right. necessarily. Right. Like, this card's kind of a land in our yes. Deck, right? Like, yes. The appeal of it is that it's a land that brings back after they lost Anissa. Yes. But I, I think a big part of it is that it helps you... It, it also kind of helps you find after they lost Anissa, sort of. Yeah. Like, it, it, like, I don't know. I mostly like it because of its interaction with those two cards. I, I think... Like, I'm not even sure how often you need to triple your mana. Is, is, is part of my premise here. Like, because, okay, to, to get to a state where tripling your mana is good implies you've probably already Aftermath Analyst at least once. Yeah. Because how else did you get to seven? Or maybe you nissed to seven. Yeah. But it's sort of like, at times are in play, then, okay, sure, maybe it's good, but so is anything. Yeah. Um, so, I think Garen Begrowth has to be legit for this card to be in the deck. But I also think it is legit. So, I mean, I think it's fine. Um, yeah. And, like, people... I, God. <laughs> well, that's why I, I... Yeah. I do think there's a chance Virtue of Strength is a scam. Um, mm -hmm. I'm definitely open to deciding it's a scam. But if I decide it's a scam, it's because I think the first half isn't legit enough. So. Yeah. I mean, I think this card was for the Commander players, though. <laughs> you did famously claim that, which was very funny. <laughs> um, because it, it's, it's just... I mean, it's just pretty legit. But mm. I don't know. Well, okay. And, I mean, talk a little bit more about the sell on this deck. What, one thing I like about this deck in general, and also the, the other Slowbrook deck, not, not like exclusive to this, but yeah. the Aftermath and List decks generally, is I feel like standard decks... Okay, when you play like Blue Black or Convoke or any yeah. of those decks, I, I mostly feel like you feel like you're playing like fair magic. And sometimes the Aftermath and List decks don't feel like that. Yeah. Sometimes they'll feel like everything your opponent's done is irrelevant, you've got over the top ball of it, and you laugh at them. Yeah. And that feeling which i understand is a feeling but i think in my experience tends to be correlated with very good decks sure and i do think this deck has that just as much as the other one it yeah. lacks none of that yeah. what it might lack we're gonna find out is the feeling that when we don't do that our normal game is as legit sure and that's certainly a concern of mine again i'm not sold um but i want to give it a chance and it's all about this aftermath and as frequently as possible theory yeah that's the fundamental theory behind the team list yeah uh, so, yeah, I mean, in general, the Aftermath and Lissa package is pretty strong and pretty resilient. So, mm -mm. Anyway, should we fire it off? Uh, yeah, we can fire it off. All right, we're going to be playing on the ladder where we're almost in Mythic. I haven't played since we were almost in Mythic. Wait, has it been reset? No, 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 not yet. See, we're in Diamond 1. Okay. Okay, Standard Rank, Best of 3, Team or no Gurk. All right. I think I did all the right things, right? Look at all these standard decks we've played. It's nice that standard's back. Mm, that that's a, I, I'm not you, you. I'm cutting this over my dead body. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. I just I. One of the things I like about this deck is is also that I think it has a balanced threat profile, by which I mean. You force your opponent to have removal, but uh, you also 
you force them to have removal, but you also aren't that vulnerable as a whole. So you put your phone in this bind where like, oh, they have to have some, but they can't have too much, and like sometimes everyone's dead, and I think this is a keep. Yeah, agreed. And we'll go get a mountain, or maybe just a second island. That I hadn't got to yet. I wish this um, could get a forest, because then we could play Virtue, or play Garen Big. Well, we can just play on two if we yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah. I guess I think we should get Island, but it's pretty And then we weird. can keep this for Nyssa, so yes. we can do like this. And, although I guess we'll get one back. We might just Virtue back the second one anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't, but I mean, I, it still doesn't seem like we'll need red mana anytime soon. I guess we won't need blue mana that soon either. Mm -mm. So, Andrew, how long do you think that Ashiok has been Jace in disguise? Do you think it's been the whole time, or do you think it's a recent movie? Greg, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, may maybe just getting a mountain is better. God, it's really hard. Maybe it'd be fine. World's Way would just be really sad we didn't get a mountain. Okay, I'm coming around to mountain. I think we should get a mountain. Okay. How was my vacation? It was great. It was really lovely. <laughs> you feel like not knowing what Greg is talking about is the baseline option. Wait, 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 wait. You want to just play another tap land? I want to play Mushroom's Theater, I think. Okay, okay, okay. And get an Island. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was an insult or a compliment, but I'm going to take it as a compliment. Thanks, Derek. I don't even know if we want a Virtuous Strength back a land right now. Like, yeah. It's sort of not obvious that we do. All of the above. So, I mean, I think we just want to jam, right? Why? It feels like they have no more lies. Yeah, but they can also have the fairy. Well, if they're even playing the deck, they're even playing blue white. Yeah, okay. In which case, we'll waste their mana if we pass. That's true. Okay, you want to just play this? Or do you want to just play a land? No, I, I want to play a forest and pass. Okay. okay. I'm proposing the line of forest pass, yeah. I mean, this is like kind of an open deckless angle where if we knew it was Esper, I would slam them in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the absence of knowing that, okay, punished, I'm sorry. That's okay. But in the absence of knowing that, I think I prefer passing. You don't think Esper plays a Dark Car Wastes? I play Dark Car Wastes at 75k in my Esper deck. I'm not saying everybody does or doesn't, but like, that statement is a fact. Uh. <laughs> I mean, we could just play this. Or just like Island Go. I mean, Island Go is not insane. Try to bait them with the Deluge. Yeah. And if they counter it, we got plenty of biz to do. But we could also play Nissa with the idea that we can virtue it back. They fight over it. That's true, but No More Lies does exile. Famous. Oh, that's true. Yeah, maybe Island Wait, Go. And we can't do it this turn. Um, I think I want to Island Go. I think Island Go is right. Okay, our opponent is playing a bad deck. You, you lost me at Aaron Geoff, for sure. Yeah. But, I mean, they still are probably playing a deck with no more lies. So we have to be a little scared. Yeah. That said, hopes to at least their mana have been dashed on the rocks. Uh-huh. So what does this do? Mostly nothing. It's future sight that's so limited as to be mostly relevant. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think it matters only insofar as what it implies, if that makes sense. Which is, they just not loot? Is that what happened? No, they discarded oh, the other Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I just didn't see the discard. Wow, those are some bangers. I mean... I think we probably want World Souls range. I don't know if we want land or analyst. I think maybe I want analyst. I guess what are we gonna do now? Are we gonna try and cast ill timed explosion? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh I wanna I think I wanna take World Souls Rage and have to make that hand. But I don't, okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think it's sort of, it's almost immaterial to me, which is what we're trying to try to do next turn. Yeah. Uh. Okay. 
Okay, I think we either need we either must play a green card or ill time explosion. Well, I think I want to play. I think I maybe want to play World Souls Rage. You can play World Souls Rage X one X two. I guess no, X, well. X two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there's two lanes of mana at least, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty down to just cast X equal two. It seems pretty good. Like I expect them to counter it, but it's like if they don't, I feel like we get a substantial edge. Yeah. And if they do, we've cleared the way for our sweeper. Yeah. Right? Like it's, it's sort of weird to cast the sweeper than the kill spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, though yeah. the kill spell comes with some ramping. Yeah. Get lost their own thing. Okay. I mean, that works, but it's fine. Yeah, agreed. Uh, and we want to get... It's just awkward. I think a mountain, but it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty relevant. Yeah. Next turn, we can Virtue of Strength back um, a land, though. Yeah. I guess really our awkwardness in situation is that we've drawn, for some reason, all fucking Maestro's Theaters. Maestro's Theaters, theaters yeah. Oh, that's oh. sort of interesting. I mean, you could just play that X3 on this. Yeah, I mean, I think I like that. I like that. I mean, they might counter it or something, but... I mean, I don't think they had a counter spell last turn. Yeah, They yeah, wouldn't yeah. have done what they did. I like I like this. This seems clearly best if they have nothing. And if they have something, it doesn't seem yeah. that bad. Yeah. <laughs> if they have another one of them, that's fine. Oh, they're going to save it? I mean, that only sort of works. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's we'll just like be 18, have a million mana, and like yeah. life will be good. Although our lack of green mana will still be annoying, but you know. Okay. If you were them, you would down tech. Wait, what? Why? To stop us from ramping? I, I sort of feel like that's... I don't know. You have to pressure us. Maybe... God, I don't know. Also, maybe... Maybe, like, Aaron Giada is great in their deck. Is, is another question that I have. Like, how good is the average Aaron and Giada for them? Yeah. Which I certainly don't know the answer to, but. Well, they, oh, I guess they're exploring knowing their top card. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of cute. Okay, Greg, I, I got to level with you. Can, can we quickly. So, I'll tell you, is damage equals the combined CMC of the discards, is that right? No, you. Oh. The greatest. Greatest. Mega. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Because I think I'm pretty interested in Ill-Time Explosion. It, it does, it, it, does it hit walkers or no? It does not hit walkers. Okay, I still think I want to cast it. Okay. Thoughts on that? I think so. Okay. And we can just virtual strength everything, I guess. Yeah. Which seems pretty good. Oh, bangers. Discard Montagna Virtue. I like that. Draw two cards and you may discard. You may discard two cards. I see. But I think this paying two cards to yeah. kill their two things seems like pretty okay. obviously worth it. Classic ill tiny explosion for seven. Okay. N Nissa analyst, or is that do we not want to expose our things? Um, I mean, I want to spend our mana. I think. So I think and I want to. We can play... Nissa analyst seed of hope. Because of the Nissa mana. Well, in that case, we should just go. Nissa, shouldn't we just go Nissa for Seed of Hope and see what we see? Yeah. Okay. Not even the greatest exactly. I, I don't think I understand what that means. Well, that, that's a beat. It's not that bad. So maybe they didn't know they could stop the... The, uh this i think well, wait i don't want to i don't know i don't oh, really don't want to expose, expose that it? i think okay. i want i think i want to see the pope okay and i want to do it now while they tap down yes yes mm. virtue 
Oh, virtue makes sense. Virtue seems pretty good. Yeah. It's like wishing for more wishes. Although I guess our Nissa's not a Nissa. Well, I know, but we, first of all, we use virtue back a different Nissa. Yeah, that's true. There's more Nissas where that came from, you know what I'm saying? We also could doppelganger another Nissa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a joke, but also it's a thing that might happen. Yeah. Like, okay, here's a legitimate question. How much can we doppelgang for next turn? Uh, X, X, X. So I guess just three. Hmm. I guess three's not that many. We would make, like, three Nissas, which would become one Nissa. Yeah. Three, three Tide Binders and three Lance. three Lamps. Wimps or three Lance. I think Lance. Okay. But, yeah. I guess that isn't that great. Okay, what do you think we do now? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't hate bring back Nissa play like maybe attack. Well, attack the wimp. Bring back Nissa play new Nissa play brokers hideout go from there. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's do yeah. that. Let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. This is a two three. Yeah, I'm confident it's a two three. So bring back Nissa is step one. Yeah. Play Nissa. Uh huh. Yes, that's fine. It's funny to me this deck laughs at Field of Ruin. Whoa, whoa great! They can target our Broker's Hideout. You know, Play that'll teach this. us. Make green, probably. Probably. And then find a forest, make another green, probably. Yep. Play that. Seems good. And then probably just use it right now. Okay, they're off it. Well, they are yes. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's a lot more, there's a lot of game actions left, but not a lot of our opponent having a chance to win left. Agreed. Um, okay, so against Azurius cards, Azurius Flash, we probably want these. Yeah, the only cards to about on me though with the Manic Project and the Vampire's Witnesses. I mean, a Braid is probably pretty good. It kills Aaron and Giada. I mean, you, do you think they have the you think they have hate the 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 hearse? Maybe. I think Boring would be claiming they have hearse, but they might have Putzel's Flaker. That's true. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'm not even sure we want Barrage. Like, Vampire's Vengeance may be better Barrage. I mean, it's only two damage. I don't like that it... I mean, like, that kills every creature we saw except Aaron Giada. That's true. Do you imagine creatures they might have that it doesn't kill? I mean, we didn't see that many creatures. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I mean, I guess we saw a Novice Inspector. So, like, I don't know. They are going to just, like... I think they're just going to have a lot of cheap creatures. Okay. But I'm not sure we should cut. I mean, I, we... I think I maybe just believe in ill time explosion to be our sweeper. Okay. What if we? Okay. So what? what maybe we can just not point to this. I mean, I'm fine with that. It is an instant though, which is not super nice. Oh, I guess I didn't realize that. That is nice. I mean, I think the card I'm most interested in cutting is maybe Seed of Hope because I think when you get more interactive, you yeah. often have to, like. I think Seed of Hope is wish plus one for two reasons. You get more interactive, so does right. more misses, and also just the game is less about doing yeah. your thing as yeah, much yeah. as possible. That makes a lot of sense. So. Okay, let's do this. If they have hearses or something, we can bring in the abrades. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. I mean, keep? Yeah, keep. And do you want a mountain, probably? Well... I mean, if we're playing Pretty Courtyard on one, I imagine we get to the mountain, yeah. Okay. Which I guess we probably are? Okay, yeah, I mean, let's, let's, let's yeah. try to find a mountain. Okay, let's find a mountain with that. That does make a lot of sense. Yeah. Because we're certainly never going to be finding Island. I do think it's funny that our deck is just all basics. Like, I understand you, you, you search for them and stuff. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, the deck might be hard. I'm certainly not sure it isn't hard. Uh, and I think this is just a slam man list angle. Mostly because we have World Souls Rage, right? Yeah. Um, now, maybe there's some argument to playing like a, 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 a Sackland then the endless or something like that. But I don't know. I, I guess I like that we can bring Beheling back this turn if we want to. Which we might not. I don't know. Like, I don't know how crazy it would be to just, like, get back Shigeki. So wait, what, what is... I was, reveal it? Return to his artist. Wait, we don't get back Shigeki, right? Sorry, you can use Virtue of Strength to get oh, back. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um. Mm -mm. I mean, we could just play Nissa though. Maybe just playing... Now that we drew Nissa, I think maybe we should just slam Nissa. Okay, I think I like Slam Nissa. Because it's not bad against removal because, like, it, it saves the effort. We also World Soul for one and get a land. I, I do see that, but I think that I'd rather play Nissa. Okay, I agree. Like, basically the way I feel is if they kill it or counter it, it's fine. And if they don't, it'll destroy them. Yep. So... I don't know, Jason. Like, I, I guess I, my, my sort of feeling is... Okay, this is going to be a little weird to say. Combo control decks are sort of inherently complex. Because it's often unclear whether the extent to which you should be comboing versus controlling. Yeah. Is, is sort of the argument I would make. Um, I, I, I guess I don't... Like, what I mean is, if this were a linear combo deck where every game your goal is to as quickly as possible, like, World Souls rage them for 20, and ignore yeah. everything they're doing, that would be simple. But, like, the complexity is that this just isn't at all that. I'm not gonna block. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I agree, but you might be right. I see. All right. Well, that was quite the match. I think they might have been screwed by the auto tapper on that turn. Well, that, that is very happens. possible. Yes. Because they knew their top card and they chose to explore. And they tapped this. Well, okay, that's all fair, but if our opponent did not have any removal spell, they were hideously dead. That is true. As a follow-up to that. Because, yeah, our turn is going to be like, play a sack land, proc our Nissa, proc our Nissa, yeah, crack yeah. after a Thanos, proc our Nissa, proc our Nissa, proc yeah, yeah. And then, like, I don't know what happens from there, but, like, they're going to be dead. Yeah, like, maybe they counter... just, like, had get lost and got screwed by the arena auto-tapper. Oh, well, that's I think possible. what happened to it. And then they were sad and conceded it. But anyway, new match. Okay. This seems fine. We've really been loving Maestro's Theater, though. We have drawn Maestro's Theater like it's our goddamn job. Maestro's for Montagna? I like Maestro's for Monta Montagna. This might be a just slam seed of hope on two game as well. Yeah. It sort of feels like that to me. The bat. Okay. Well, one nice thing about bat is World Soul's Rage is pretty convenient against bat. Yes. Like, if you're our opponent here, you sort of have to take World Soul's Rage. Yes. Yeah, Jason, I'm mostly just not sure. I'm not yet convinced that that's exploitable, in my opinion. So how many lands have there been right now? Just the one? Just the one. Hmm. So now it's awkward because we'd really like to World Souls Rage on three. Yes. But I guess we can just do that. Let me just play the Maestro's Theater. And, oh no, I guess we don't even need to say land the bin for World Souls Rage. Forward. Yes. Also, this can put lands from your hand into play. I know. I mean, it's not like optimal, obviously, but like, I think I just want to play Seed of No, no, wait. You're right. We just Seed Sorry. I was still thinking we would get any and lands back. I want to do it now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Also, this might mill a land and a thing. Okay. Great. Let's get Nessa. Agreed. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do next turn given the, given this outcome, yeah. but we'll figure that out. Because now we don't even really need to kill this bat. We're like sort of in no... Yeah. We also now, like for example, could play Nissa next turn on the idea like, look, if they kill it, there's another Nissa under the bat. Yeah, that's true. So it's not that much of a problem. 
I also don't fully understand why I put it split onto that. I, I guess they were trying to get out of World Souls Rage, Rage range. Oh, is that the idea? I see. Okay. Hmm, that's a little awkward. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I don't hate just playing Nissa, I think, still. Just accepting they'll go for its throat? Well. Yeah, we can, like, we have it all rolled up to get it back next turn and replay it with the forest. That's what I was thinking. Okay. But maybe that's wrong. We also could next turn, like, World Souls Rage for two, get a bunch of lands back, and then, like, Nissa the following turn. I, I guess I don't know. Um. Yeah, I agree with what Jason just said, I think. So therefore we should... I think this thing is pretty I, good. I want to play Nessa, yeah. Like, in some sense, we're just like saying, we offer you a deal, we'll spend our turn three for two of your mana on your turn four. Yeah. And I just think that deal is just fine for all parties. Like, I believe we should offer and they should accept it. Yep. I mean, I, I guess I know their hand, but sure. probably they should accept it. I mean, maybe they, like, had Gix. They would just, like, play Gix and draw three cards, I don't know. Maybe. That's not really not obviously right. Okay, let's do the thing. So you want to... You want a Virtue plus play Nyssa? Yes. Yeah, okay. I think you do too. Okay. I mean, I guess we could wait on playing Nyssa. Yeah. We have, like, World Soul for one. But I don't think we want to. I think we want to just play Nyssa because, okay, there's still a Nyssa under the bat. Wait, wait. But if we World Soul for one, we'll get back a land. Can we then, like, pl eh, yeah, okay, never mind. This is too cute. I think we just play Nyssa because if yeah. they kill it again, well, okay, we'll World Soul's Rage back for three and get a third Nyssa. Yeah. And they'll be probably tapped out or tapped low as a result yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I mean, sure, I, I guess if they kill our Nissa into Counter World Souls Rage, we're in a bad spot. That's life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Reeve is coming. Because this is a lot of damage, I admit. But we're, we're about to get a lot of life, so I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think they should mill us. Dang. <laughs> Greg hitting him with the, I think they should mill us. Okay. Uh, I mean, we should World Souls for the full three, I think. Well, yeah, it's going to be... Oh, wait, I guess, playing, I guess playing Sackland is just better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, you, never mind. So, play... I mean, I mean, do you want to play this one? I guess it doesn't really matter. And they know about this one. So yeah, we should play, play the one they know about, I guess. Okay. But it, it does seem fairly relevant. Uh, I don't know. Great. Hmm. Red. You make green again, I guess. I'll make red. Okay, we got another Nyssa. Okay. So now do we want to do this for four? I mean, I think almost certainly, yeah. And we'll just get these three and put the Broker's Hideout into play? Yes. Okay. Do we want... No, okay. There's a reason to. Uh... Maestro's Theater. And hey, Zach, thanks for the subscription. Great to have you back. Okay, and are we going to be playing it? Are we going to do another World Soul Rage this turn? I think we just make it of various colors. Okay. But I, I, I think we could. I'm not sure we should. Because we, we might want to play Virtue of Strength. Oh, we could just slam Virtue? Okay, and threaten Lethal. But yeah. it depends on if they're, it depends on how worried we are about being dead. I don't know what life tool we're at exactly. I, I can't really figure it out from the current game state, is, is what I would say. Um, but probably we're going to play Virtue. Never been spoiler fatigued? Yeah. I don't really get spoiler fatigued. We're at nine? Yeah, so we're just not even dead to their full attack. Okay, yeah. So we, we, should, we should just slam Virtue then, yeah. Just check. Mm, that's not attack. I wouldn't attack. Who knows? I mean, we do have... Di Nissa's right, like yeah. We definitely aren't attached to this Nissa. Like I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of into block. Well, it doesn't really seem like our Nissa play matters at all. <laughs> and they're just dead. I I'm not sure why you're playing this really. But... Oh. It's fine. I mean... They're just still dead. So, how much mana do we have exactly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, four, so, five, six. Okay, we can six. play a player on Spell Fears. It sounds like we should kill them. Oh, wait, it was 29, though. 
Yeah. So we can't quite kill them. Wait. So we have, we have nine lands. Nine times three is 27. Right? Oh, did I mess up? By, I might have messed up by playing this. Well, that's why I said you shouldn't play it. Sorry. But, so wait. Three, six, nine. Nine times three is 27. 28. So we can cast it for 27. So we cannot kill them. Is that true? Uh, yes. But if we had two more mana, uh, then we could still not we could do it for exactsies but not but i want to play around spell pierce yeah okay well now the question is do you want to flashback memory dealers or something maybe i guess we can do it after because we're gonna get yeah okay let's let's just let's just cast it let's just cast it for a bunch of their phase it's fine okay i don't know like 15 maybe 20 sure 20 <laughs> it's just like, what was it, 20? You, you should just take game actions, I think. Yep. Oh, wow. How could that was an insane draw? They might be dead now. I guess we don't have another real payoff, sort of, although we have the Deluge. That is true, 07, 07, 07. That was important to the other deck. That, that, that's like why the card is, is in these decks, to start with, to some extent. Mm, I don't know, this? We had ill timed explosion. I would cast Amos and Sack it, I think. Oh yeah, okay. It's like probably mana positive. Uh, it really loves us if you put in graveyard. I mean, I want to gain the life, even though. Yeah. Oh, green, blue, green, blue, green, red. And, and how about a nice white? Sure. Thanks, DC, for the sub! Great to have you back! Okay, yeah, we're out of lands to go get. Yeah, that's fine. And we can just, like, flash... We're, 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 like, a million life. We can just, like, flashbacks and deluges. Yeah. Wow. I want to use the white. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have made this white. I mean, it, it was extremely foolish, but it's fine. <laughs> I have no regrets. Okay, maybe do a world soul rage. Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, and then I, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We just cast it x equals nine, not play around spell pierce. Yeah, just go for it. Okay. If they spell pierce, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not really very worried about the game. I, I got a level with you. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> Also, like, we're going to reach a point here where, like, miss, like, like let's say they spell it, right? Like, miss a beatdown is a problem for them, isn't it? Like, Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess we could rage for five twice. That's true. Eh. Oh, yeah, I guess maybe that was a punt. It's kind of a punt in the academic sense, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no is right. Hard to say how it went from here. <laughs> I mean, our opponent has as many as three power in play. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't disrespect the reef like that. Okay, can you first attack with this, please? Okay. I'd like to send a message. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to do some other stuff? Like, do you want me to flash this back? I or? would start by casting Little Souls Rage for nine, but, you know, you, you don't have to if you don't want to, if you're not How feeling about it. 14? Oh, no, okay, we might need that mana. <laughs> God, this is so wrong. <laughs> I would submit zero. <laughs> we might need that mana. We were gonna need that mana. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely don't think the teamer versus blue black matchup is a is a is a matter of settled fact at the moment. Okay. I, I think experts do not agree on who is favored. Is, yeah, this would be my commentary on the question. Um. Mm -mm. Okay. So what's good? Um. Probably not that. Well, maybe that. 
Just because it's a, a two for one? I mean, Cause I... It, no, because it makes our spells uncountable. Oh, that's the point of it. I mean, I don't know if we want it, but okay. it's, it's, it's crazy. It's not, I mean, it's not crazy. Is this good? Because it's like a generic good card against mid-range? I don't know what the Goose Brother is for. I'm going to level with you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I want to board in a Braids and Malevolent Hermits, I think. And cut these? Because I suspect they have curses. Okay. I think most blue black with bias can have curses. Now, if we, like, don't see curses in game two, we can reassess. Yeah. But. If it's for the grindy matchups, it's got to be good here, you know? Or is that a meme? Mm -mm. Like, what if we take out this one of the Shigekis for the Goose Mother? It can, like, block stuff, too. Sure, that like, sounds pretty fair, yeah. I, I, I think I'm a believer in the Goose Mother against Okay, Dina. yeah, I like that. Who is the Goose Father? She don't need no father, okay? Yeah, Dom, <laughs> she's a strong, independent woman, and she don't need no man. You gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> also, Dom, any thoughts on the Bachelorette announcement? Oh, my God. Ugh. Honestly, insane developments. I knew this would happen. <laughs> I told you it was going to happen. Yeah, I know. That's why you knew it's because I explicitly told you. My understanding is that we should keep every hand with this deck. Okay. So, therefore, I would keep. Okay. Is The Bachelorette a TV show? It sure is. Okay. Brokers for an Island, maybe? Mm -mm. Uh, well, I don't know if there will be Bachelorette airing, but... Yes, obviously, Dom. Dom, I invited you to watch Bachelor with my friend group when you were here, and you declined. <laughs> yeah, on honestly, Dom's Bachelor bark is much louder than his Bachelor I didn't bite. say who the Bachelorette was. I just said, are you surprised by the Bachelor announcement? Okay, I guess we should play that, huh? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean we could just play Goose Mother. Well, I no, guess it's, it's, it's mostly just, again, we could play a tap land first. Sure, yeah. Mostly, I just think... Often the sequencing of whether you want to play Analyst on two or yeah. Tap Land into Tap Land Analyst on three is complicated. Yeah. But like, I don't really know which is right. Real plot twist there, Mr. Catfish. Um. Anyways, the so is the Bachelor. So is it time for Goose Mother for X equals one? I think so. It's a three three, right? Yeah, that comes with the food. Yeah. Off forest. Yeah, whatever. D dealer's choice on which land to use. Well, Zach, we're not... Uh, okay, I mean, the real answer is I don't think that the matchup profiles of the various analyst decks are really known to humanity mm. at the moment. I don't think experts agree on them. So, now, that doesn't mean there isn't an answer. It's just, like, I don't know what the answer is. Like, there are people I respect that came, claim, for example, that blue-black is both favored and unfavored in this matchup. Okay, I think, um, are we good? Well, we're really dead. I mean, we shouldn't concede, unfortunately. Okay. We, sh we should hang out a little bit. Okay. Well, the thing is, we just could win, is the issue. Yeah. Like, I understand we're in a really bad spot, but, like, what if their hand just doesn't have a lot of counters and we just, like, draw a banger? It wouldn't, like, take that much, would it? I guess that's true. What we shouldn't do, though, is commit the Echoing Deeps. We should not commit the Because if we draw Nissa, we will really want the... Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yes, just, like, having another tap land is important. Yes. You claim that it's both favored and unfavored? I, I wouldn't say that particularly makes me respect you more, no. I'm going to eat this, I think. Yeah. Okay. It looks pretty tasty. There's like a sandwich and a croissant and a melon. I would eat that food. I definitely do think that Toxic beats most of the all forms of this. Okay, well that's got to be the best draw in our deck. Let's attempt to kill Gix, I think. Or yeah, I mean... Or do you want to one on this to play around Skull Pierce? I mean, also plays on make disappear. Uh, that's true. Okay, I think we should maybe do that. It seems reasonable to do that at least. How many lands are in our bin? I mean, a, a bajillion. Yeah. I think I'm in to go try to kill the camera bat, but it's quite close. I think. I agree. There's just no way they don't have it. Yeah. I, I would like to state that. Um. I think Stonebrain is not... I am unconvinced Stonebrain is good against any variant of this thing. Yeah. Like, I get that the premise is like, 
oh, like, you'll just prevent them from World Souls raging. What will they do then? And I sort of feel like the answer is anything. Yeah. Like, I don't know, they'll flash the memory delusion, they'll flash back another delusion, they'll find the one of Doppelgang, and they'll do some various biz, and like, I don't know. I mean, obviously it depends on the game state, but I, I, I sort of think Stonebrain is terrible. Um, is this stock in the mirror? Uh, no. It might mean they're playing the profs list. Oh, okay. But they haven't played anything else that looks like the profs list. Oh, profs mastery? Profs eidetic memory. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we might have to do it X equals three and pray. Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, it is sort of a terrible plan, but you're probably right. It kind of seems like even if this resolves and hits the bat. We just will still be losing? Yeah, okay, yeah. fine. Wait, wait, wait. So you should, in that case, you play land first and do it for four. Oh, good point, good point. Even though we only have three lands in the band. We have more lands in our hand. Okay. I mean, there's just no reason not to do it for if we're gonna if we're gonna respect nothing. Yeah. But I just don't think it does almost get you. I just like I don't really understand. It, it seems trivial to work around for me. Okay, I'm gonna concede now. I'm down. I think I want any of these cards. Not maybe maybe we great. want this to hit bat, but yeah, but it's pretty annoying that it does not get Gix or like yeah. really a lot of things that are good. Also, <laughs> okay, wait, this is a complete. Sorry for your eyes, miniature catfish. Anyway, fire off your complete aside. It's a complete aside. Yeah, as 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 that's all I ever want to hear. Um, but my complete aside is uh. Dude, I still feel like we are obviously right about the four Gix thing in blue black, and no one other than us a a ever does it. Really? And I just That's still shocking. feel like we're right, and it's not close. Yeah. So this here's an announcement to everyone in the chat: If you're gonna play blue black, fucking play four Gix. Grow up. Yeah. They fucking is aggressive, but. Yeah, it's fine. Um, <laughs> I know you said to keep every hand. Is this any hand? I like this hand. Okay. It's got our two best cards. What could okay. go wrong? Our deck is like thirty lands in it. Okay. All the lists I see play have three gigs, and I don't understand it. I, I don't, I do not, I do not get it. You're just playing tribal gigs deck, and then, I don't know. Okay, well, good. We milled a bunch of non lands to increase our odds to hit. Sorry, to, to discuss the stone brain and blue white thing more, it, it's fine. Greg's got the game covered. Yeah. Um, mostly because our playing system will probably be self evident. Yeah. One way or another. Um,. <laughs> Like, what I would say is, okay, so you're playing against Blue White. They stone bring you and they name World Souls Rage, right? That's, yeah. that's the premise. All right, here's my plan. It's presumably a post board game because they aren't main decking stone bring. Don't be ridiculous, right? Okay, we can play that. So, it, should we attack? I guess so, right? Why not? They don't have, like, Wimp or anything. Yeah. So they, they, they stone bring you. My plan is to, like, flash black. It's to, like,. Flashback, Malevolent Hermit, and cast Doppelgang. After I've drawn a bajillion cards in the Memory Delusions and my infinite. Yeah. Okay, it's time for Greg to read this card. Return it to its hand. Reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card onto the battlefield tapped and the rest into your graveyard. Okay, let's play this card. Wait, wait, wait. Should do, we? Do you want to do the thing? Well, I don't know. Um, It's pretty good. I guess so. And if I get a, if we like get a tap land, then we can like miss a plus. Wait, tap. so what happens if they kill your king response? It's part of it. It appears to be part of the cost. So then it will be really fizzle because we can't pay that part. No, no, no. It's it's already happened. Oh, it's already in our hand. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see. yeah. Okay, I'm with you. With you. They never get a chance. Uh. I don't know. Maybe I'm down. They like probably have make this beer, right? I kind of just want to use Shigeki. Okay, let's do it. I'm in. I, I just like. I don't know. I, I want to hit land drops more than I want to put this into play, is, is, is I guess the way I feel. Okay. They're going to kill after anything else now? Sh sure. Bye-bye. Courtyard? Yeah, courtyard seems good. It's almost like I'm just playing untapped. Yeah. And find a montagna. Yeah. And then play this, I mm -hmm. guess. Like, it seems like this put us in kind of a better spot. I agree. We do kind of need to peel, like, any... Double mana land, but yeah.
Hmm. Okay, they took Misa. Okay, you want to start with a breed? Because that's one you want to resolve? Well, I think I'm worried about like spell pierce and make yeah, I guess. We should definitely like... start with the one you want to resolve. Right. But I sort of want after they set a breed on their turn. Oh, that makes sense. So that they have to counter it they for now okay, on their okay, turn. Because okay, I don't think having specific needs to backside Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. I hadn't thought it through. Well, I mean, I don't know. In, in, in Greg's defense, I do think your play would be right if you thought having this about Queen is much more important than having this play. Yeah. But I think the two are of comparable importance. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to take one, I think. Kings are two. And then I guess I'll do it. I, I want to do it. Like, next turn, our mana is sort of accounted for. Yeah. And so... <laughs> I mean, okay, we're, we're negated, but, uh... So, wait, we should play that first, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Play that, and then... And then, <laughs> then things are going to be... Incur I guess I guess there's no reason to main freeze them, though. Oh, well, well guess... there's, there's Tidebinder. Mm. Okay, there's pretty good reason to main freeze them. Uh, I think I want to do it now. Yeah, okay, I do too. You're right. Okay. It, it saves me life on the schooner to do it on their turn, but that, that's just, like, not what this game is about. So you should get red with this one. Yeah. Because I think the only matter of importance. Schooner said than done. Oh my god. Schooner said than done is a nice one. Like, I don't really know what's going to happen from here, but I feel like we're going to be okay. Even though they're drawing cards and stuff. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, wait. So, so you have... 10 mana, so if we doppelganger for 3, it could get spell pierced. We could doppelganger for 2. Make, we also like, could flashback Malal and Hermit, which guarantees it can't be countered. By virtue of its text. Oh, box. that's true. And then we can still doppelganger for 2? Well, can we? Wait, doing it just for 2 costs 8. We only have 10. Oh, okay. So, so we can't even doppelganger for 3. Even basically, it doesn't seem like doppelganger this turn is just, is just is, is particularly great to me. Well, I mean, it's nice that we could get Bat and get Urtite out of their hand if it resolves. Well, yes, that's true. But we could just, like, deluge, flashback, middle of and Herman, and, like, set, basically set up. Okay, I like setting up. I think we should do this first, though. Right? I want to deluge first, I think. Okay, in case it In case of explosion. Things. Okay, oh, good point. There's a very, I mean, I can tell you how it could change things, and it's a pretty yeah realistic outcome, I think. I have to name the card, is another way of saying it. Okay, well, we got punished. I'm sorry. That's okay. But now we can just play Love and Herman and Shigeki, I think. Yeah, I like that. We are exposing our Shigeki to removal, I suppose, but That's I, I sort of just feel like this game is not about regrowthing with Shigeki. Agreed. Like, this is a common thing. It's like, you know, like, like there was a discussion about the Shigeki lose before, but like, I think this game is a good example of what I'm talking about, right? Like, uh, I don't even really want to channel Shigeki once this game. And I don't think that's that uncommon. Like, it's like, we have all these deluges. Like, look, like, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, spending our mana will be fine. I just want to, like, put something on the table. And, like, at some point, you might, like, fog a blocker and deny them a card, which is actually pretty good. Yeah. I'd prefer to do that when we can activate it, but we don't even, ha that doesn't even have to be the case. Yeah, I mean, we are just at 21, although I guess they're about to draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, like, I think we should take this, but it's... It's not I would like to take the free block that they gave us for some reason. Oh. Okay, they're just gonna do this. Okay. Well, that sort of makes sense because they can't counter our spell anyway when yeah, hermits yeah, in yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sort of might as well just kill off the hermit. Yeah. It kind of seems seven. like we should take it. I think so. 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I think so. What, how did you count to 11? I'm counting our mana. Oh, okay. We have 11 mana next turn. Okay. 
It's relevant because we can basically we can flashback Deluge into um Explosion. Into explosion. If we do, we're vulnerable to spell pierce, but we get three more looks at the explosion. Yeah. So it might still be right. It depends on how much we think we need specifically explosion versus just kind of generic stuff. Wait, did that like mana positive? So what? Well, well, twelve. It's mana neutral. It looks like. Hmm. No, it's mana positive. Well, we maybe should just play it. Assuming it resolves, we go from eleven to twelve mana. Yeah, I mean they can spell pieces for valve and stuff, but yeah, I think playing it that is pretty reasonable. I like playing it. Yeah. Okay. Is there? Should I leave out more blue mana? Do you think? Well, they all tap for three blue, so we have, I mean, just leave out sure. two blues. So I think okay. it's fine. And just cast it. And yeah. Then over. Well, we grow. It's like it's it's like massively negative mana. Yeah. Okay. So we want to keep. The green up, maybe? Yeah, the green and the blue, yes. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely bad for us, but that also would have been bad for us sort of in all worlds. Sure. Um, so we'll play this. Right. And then on their turn, we can, like, block, activate, and then have the four mana up to delete. Correct, yes. Okay. It's not a play without flaws because we might die. Yes. But I don't believe we're, like, Dobbs. For instance. Uh, we might need... No. Well, it might be right to just let this happen. I think we should let this happen. Because the Shigeki channel next turn yeah. is pretty insane, actually. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't really look at our bin, but I imagine it's, it's lethal immediately. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what will happen, but I doubt it's beatable. So, just like this way... We guarantee the Shigeki after all said and done, and I guess I could have like Tidebinder, but it's pretty hard to kiss off the Shigeki. Okay, well, let's activate it. Yeah. Oh, wait. Might we want to channel it for one now? We might. So. I don't really know if we will, but sure, give, give us the option, yeah. Yeah. We can do some considerations about that. So, they're attacking for four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are we just dead? Oh, no. Ha! The one life? I think the one life maybe means we're not dead as opposed to being dead. But I might I might have miscounted. So cause cause wait, so their their attack is for three plus this is ten, thirteen? Yeah. So we're we Wow. Alright. <laughs> okay, so is that that means we probably don't want to channel? Or maybe we mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know because, well, like, so how much mana do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four. We have eleven nine, times three is thirty-three. Thirty-three is so much. We probably don't want to channel. It seems like we probably don't need to channel. Okay. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't really. Yeah, I'm not really sure the extent of what's going to happen here, but because the thing is, it's sort of hard. Hmm. We'll need to think pretty hard. Let's start thinking now. Because, okay, here's an example of why it's hard. We yeah. could just get World Soul's Rage, for example, but it's it's a little concerning what happens if they, like, have... They can have counters of many varieties. Yes. So, like, it seems like we want a plan that's more robust than that. Like, ideally, I'd like a plan that involves gaining a bunch of life and wrathing them. Yes. But that, I think, is doable. I think that's yes. an achievable plan. Because um, we just have gobs of mana. So, like, is that, for example, is there an Aftermath Analyst in the bin? Yes. Okay, so, like, what if we got back, like, Aftermath Analyst, Ill-Timed Explosion, um, and World Souls Rage, channeling it to X equals 3? Okay, do you want the second Virtuous Strength, or is that just not worth it? Is that too cute? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's not crazy. Um... We could get that. Then it would be 10. Second like Virtue is plus mana. Yeah. It's bad against counter magic, though. Sort yeah, of. I think maybe I don't want to. I want to not it. get it, but I can't give okay. a detailed analysis as to why. Uh, wait. This is going to do what I want, right? Okay. So channel with, we said three. Yeah. We want uh, an explosion, analyst, and world tool rage. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to let it pay. Because we don't have time. 
Oh, we need to pitch something to explosion. That I suppose is true. We'll, we'll figure it out. So now we're gonna do this, right? Yeah, let's, let's let's let we can we can end this now. Okay, and I guess we might as well play this. Yeah, you might as well. Okay. Yes, they don't. They aren't threatening Tidewinders. That is indeed a key factor. The they should not have played this. I think. That does seem reasonable. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Well, one of them. I picked that one. Uh, okay. So now, now use this. Yeah. Nice. If their hand is four Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that, that's fair. I mean, I guess I'm sort of assuming they have anything, but I guess you're right that if they have complete weakness, then they should play it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's worth leaving up, though. That's what I was kind of... Also, may, should I be not getting the lands for future Nissas? That's, mm, that's silly, right? That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just don't think that's going to matter in the game at all. Okay, so now should we, like... Now should we yield time explosion, I suppose? I guess. I mean, maybe we should deluge first to search for an expensive. Well, how much mana do we have left? I guess uh, a, a, a lot. A time. lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times three, a lot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you convince me with a lot. Seven times three is a lot. Is what I would. That's that's okay. You may uh. You may do that. Well, the point of the analysis that Zach is that wrathing their board doesn't matter if we don't first yeah. gain a bunch of life. So find like an expensive card. Okay. What like Nissa and World Souls Rage or something? Okay. And then do this. Yeah. Oh wait. I mean, yeah, that might have been the wrong pick. Sorry. It's fine. It'll be. It's fine. fine. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. Well, because, wait, I, I realized that we could have cast, we could have cast Malevolent Hermit, which might deterministically kill them. Mm, okay. So discard, I think we kind of have to discard Nissa. Yeah. And this. I think it's lethal. Oh, yeah. Maybe we might have, like, missed lethal, but. Yeah. Anyway. I agree. I think it'll be fine. Okay. So now what if we cast a Nissa and then a World Souls Rage for the rest? Oh. Uh. For... Wait, so, so, so tap, tap your force for to add three green. Please. It's fine. It's it's not using the red. Okay. For this. Okay. Okay, and then so now we have eight, so we can do this for X6. Well, you cast you, you cast two separate smaller ones. Okay, so do you want to just do it for X's like two? Yeah. Or three or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope it doesn't be both red. Fuck. Sorry. It used both red. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because we just get lands oh, back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. That, that's relevant. I mean, assuming it resolves. Any, but... any three lands, yeah. Doesn't matter. They're completely relevant. Yeah. How many... Oh, we're out of timeouts. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think it is fine. <laughs> Okay, and then do you want to just, like, rage them for some to gain some more life? Sure. I think so. so it's for four? Yeah. And this one they can counter, but who cares? Agreed. Boop -a -doop, boop -a -doop, boop -a -doop, also, boop -a -doop. by the way, make make four blue and then cast a deluge cast if you have the clock time. Okay. You might not have the clock time, which it's fine if you don't. <laughs> gotta make white you know yeah i understand it's important <sighs> <laughs> wait there's more oh two after that list. that sounds good there's more how is there more? <laughs> well, no, just from our point of perspective, it's like, oh, oh yeah. So, 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 like, look, like, well, here's what oh, we Oh, no, Malcolm! <laughs> ah! 
Well, like, so, like, here's the thing. And this, I say this a lot, but I'm going to emphasize it again. Yeah. I understand that, I'm not sure we play the turn optimally, but I just, it, it just doesn't, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know, we made a million mana and gained a million life and we spent it somehow in their debt. Yeah. And, like, maybe we could have spent it more optimally and killed them or ended up in their virtue and player, like, all these different things. But, like, I don't know, who cares? Is our probability of victory really meaningfully Mirex. reduced? Murex. <laughs> Andrew is Murex. I think it's not too late. <laughs> Mm. well it's just the usual thing like magic isn't about playing optimally when you're hideously winning that's true in this deck but it's also true in like most decks can we try and win with poison by like copying do they have a murex in the bin <laughs> well, no we, we could can... doppelganger the one and play oh yeah 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 okay the answer to that is we certainly could i, I have no plans to do so but is it possible yes obviously yes Oh, they're bouncing our virtue? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can start by just casting the virtue. Uh, what if I just... They're tapped out. Can I just World Soul Rage 11 them? Oh, sure. I guess that's fine. The virtue is probably like plus mana, though. What's happening? Are we DC'd? Because this is a really bad time to DC, actually. No. Okay. <laughs> Man, I was going to do so much biz first. I was going to cast the World Souls Rage and the Nissa, and then I was going to aftermath them list a few times, and then I don't know, get a more permanent in there. Greg's just like, what if I kill them? Boring. Wow, we do have only six, six cards in deck. I guess <laughs> that is true. Maybe we should have played around milling in some way. Yeah. But we weren't into, like, Restless Reef. Yeah. So, like... And they only have one Restless Reef? Yeah. Okay, well... What do you mean? Lotus Cobra's already in the deck. Yeah. I mean, Lotus Cobra is a snake. Snakes live in deserts. Thunder Junction is a desert. QED. Yeah, that is a good QED. Wait, I'm going to get my backup water that I prepared. Okay, okay, okay. Greg, you can win this game from here. <laughs> Classic, you can win from here. Chat did Greg screwed up. <laughs> oh, I hope we didn't DC. This is like sometimes this is how Arena DC. If we did, we did. <laughs> we have a lethal spell on the stack, so even if we DC, we'll win. Tuning in to see the opponent. I did fuck it up so bad. Thanks, Azax. I'm glad you noticed. Ooh, Lotus Lotus Cowboy is nice, but can we can we can we can we make it a can we make it a, can we make it like a worse pun? Can we make it like lo Lotus <laughs> co 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 Cobroy? Co co cowbroy? Yeah, the co ca cowboy. What if it's just Nissa is on in the set? Oh Nissa in a cowboy hat? I would submit zero. Nah, you gotta submit three. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta submit After they roped us, I should have submitted more. <laughs> <laughs> I could have put ten lands into play and had an echoing death. Okay, let's keep playing. I miss Gurk. Again, I'm just... Yeah, I don't know. The strongest logic that I have to present is that is just saying I'm worried that this deck, the gap between the best cards and the worst cards is just large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I'm worried that the, just the gap between Aftermath, Analyst, Nissa, and whatever you think the 60th card of the deck is is just pretty large. Yeah. Like... And so you, you're just like, oh, 68 cards, there's no downside. Well, like, I don't know, what if I think there's a downside? And to be clear, I'm not trying to state that I'm confident teamers better or something. I, I'm, that's certainly not the case. Mostly, I feel very uncertain. Sure. Uh, I'm not, I'm also not making a ruthlessness argument. I'm making an emotional argument. I see. About missing Gurk. Someone, okay, in The Bachelor, apparently the person who became The Bachelorette made a comment about being ruthless in her pursuit of love or whatever and the my bachelor watch party apparently this was last week which i wasn't there but apparently they were not big fans of this comment and i was trying to defend it and they were all not having it what that's a great comment <laughs> of course you should be ruthless with regards to love yeah. it's anything mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean i mostly think that 
to, 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 to use some, some, some definitions here, like, like I define ruthlessness as taking only actions that, that optimize, that optimize the specific goal that you have is how I define ruthlessness. And, un, and a ruthful action is any action that does not contribute to that goal or actively attracts it. It seems that. like a sneakity doof to me. Yes. Okay, cool. So we, like, we must play, we must be very careful. Yes, you definitely have to play that one. With which Badlands we play. Who is the Ruth sponsor? I mean, that's easy. It's Ruth. Next question. <laughs> but I guess I'll just play this, grab this, and play it. Do we want a, a normal land? Oh, me in case we like draw Nissa. I guess we don't really. Okay, I'm fine with taking that. Because we should have a good play lined up with the with yeah. the sack land, really. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Mm, great choice of Ruth sponsor. We did draw the Nissa. Anyway, let's play this. Maybe, what do we do if they counter it? I think we'll find a way. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Azax is here. Azax was in the chat. Azax made a comment, like, pretty recently. Yeah. As a point of fact. It saddens me to announce that Azax is present. Maybe, I think maybe with my, this land, I should have gotten second green. But yeah, I was just thinking that, but yeah. it, it'll be okay. Hmm. Well, this is certainly awkward. Is it a Shigeki angle? It sort of seems like it. Wait, so what's the channel cost Shigeki exactly? Oh, we can't channel it. Okay. That's what I wanted to check. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm down to just play your game pass. You, you should not attack because of Wimp. Yeah. Not that I really think they main phase the Wimp, but I don't want to mess around with it. Yep. I agree. Mm -mm. Right. So I was like, how did we get to 25? And then I remembered Seed of Hope gains life. You would rage, just rage them for... Oh, maybe raging them for one is good. I don't know. It, it's sort of good. It just it just ramps us. Yeah, maybe okay, that maybe seems better than Shigeki. Well, I mean, just that rage will be good later. Sort of. I, I don't know. I mean, it might have been better. I'm not, I'm not very sure. Yeah. Anyways, now we just play. Well, I guess we could play Nissa. I want to play Nissa. I think. Even though it mean, might mean not using Shigeki. Yes. Okay, I'm down. I mean, it, well, yeah, I guess it will almost certainly mean because I don't think it'll resolve. But. Well, yeah, like. I guess it's awkward because they have no, no... Well, they probably don't have no more lies, right? Because, like... I mean, they could have drawn it. I don't it. really know why you think they don't have it. I mean, I think they would have... I, I guess... I want to just chill. Okay. You want to play just... Maestro's Theater, yeah. Yeah. I don't... Stupid Maestro's Theater. Well, oh, yes. I, th I think what Jason said is correct, which is that I'm worried about a sweeper. Yeah. Um, And I just think that the best way to play around a sweeper is to just hang out. Yeah. Mm hmm Ugh, truly a hinge Azak statement. Should we use Shigeki now in case of like Tidebinder? Which I doubt they main deck, but we're gonna use it for sure. Yeah, let's let them do this first. Okay, let them pick and then immediately Shigeki. I think we just should, but No no no, I, I think you're right. Yeah. Mm. Also, that's great that you have an auto clicker. <laughs> I'm not sure whether the statement Well Classic Arena. We didn't get priority, Greg. We had no option. <laughs> They can Tidebinder this, honestly. <laughs> yeah, maybe th th worrying about this is, is just extremely silly. I'm certainly open to that. Oh, we have to hydrate. Good thing you got your back of water. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because I was drinking a bunch of water like immediately before the stream, so... Mm -hmm. hmm. That is a lot of our World Soul Sages, which maybe is relevant in this matchup, although I think is usually not incredibly relevant. Uh... I mean, it kind of seems like we should World Soul Rage them for three now. Yeah, I suspect that is what we should do. Um, Just to get three lands? Well, I mean, I think the alternative would be to, like, channel Shigeki, but that's kind of uncounterable. Yeah, and so also that costs, so like, just get a card back for four mana. Yeah. What card do you let's, want? Let's just rage for three. I agree. I 
Mm, I'm just going to get three of these lands. Yeah. And I, I think we might want many forests, so I'm going to get, like, these. Okay. I'm down for that. I mean, you could have gotten the regular lands back because, like, we're not doing anything with the triggers right now, and, like, it doesn't matter that much, but also it might matter. You never really know. Also, we might, like, we'll probably resolve an analyst at some point, right? Yeah, that's true. I think I want a blue. But resolving analyst is not a reason to do it this way. Like, the number of lands in your graveyard won't change if you get back regular lands or sack lands. But isn't it more... Oh, I guess that's true. I was just I was asking the question wait, like it, it, oh no wait it, no it will it, oh wait it no, does will. sorry right what <laughs> I, I said like, never mind never mind yeah never mind I was I was reasoning I was reasoning in yeah. a bizarre way a bizarre and and what's the word erroneous way that's mm. what I was looking for erroneous when you I was thinking of or pertaining to error what's that word yeah <laughs> uh, you want classic to of or pertaining to error you know mm. this has got to be a good matchup. Right? I imagine it's, it's quite a good matchup, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Analyst? Yeah, it seems like Analyst is pretty good. I mean, we could streak Eki at some point, but I'm not really stressed about that. I'm not in a, in a rush. This is a truthful Analyst. I mean, they're very bad at countering things when you have three mana up. Huh. I mean, I'll pay four. Yeah, I mean, it means I can then kill it, but that seems fine. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I'm just not in a rush. We're under, like, no pressure. Yeah. And then do we want to... Maybe we'll, like, replay Shigeki because we drew backup Shigeki? Mm, I would not do that. Okay. I would all... I would all... all Shigeki, I don't want to get them both wrath. Okay. You want to just chill? I want to chill. Okay. Yeah, I would hold all Shigekis for channeling. Just, just channel your inner Shigeki, you know? And then next turn, we'll probably force through an after I of activation. In Farewell some is scary here. That is definitely true. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what we should do about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really bad. It might okay. just beat us. Hmm, maybe we should have channeled last turn? That would have sort of played around it. I mean, it kind of seemed like, oh, yeah, I guess that was a reason to not pay four and just play second analyst. Mm, that's fair. Eh, all right. So now do you want to miss the Cabretti Courtyard? I think so. I mean, I think we're still okay, even though I understand our library situation is a little dangerous. Yeah. We make a blue mana. Sure. Well, because we might just want a deluge. I mean, we have the, we we can you know. That's true. We like could play analyst and kind of hope we mill some more lands. That's true of dangerous um hmm i guess what are our alternatives or we could just play deluge and see what happens see what we see but i'm not really sure what we're hoping to see yeah i'm not sure either i think we should play our analyst okay but... we have a million of them so like if yeah. we like waste one it's it's pretty okay mm -hmm. Okay. okay, we did hit a bunch of lands. I think I just want to use this. Okay, I'm down. And get three lands back. Yeah, and then we can delish. Yep. They're All right, you got us. <laughs> Do you want another mountain just in case? I'm not sure what it's in case of as an update. Me either, but yeah. Okay, well they're starting the clock. <laughs> <laughs> so keep that in mind. Okay, I mean I guess 
guess I want to do Deluge. Yeah, I'm not really ready to go for the World Souls Rage yet, I think. Yeah. I mean, this is our last World Soul Rage, right? Yeah, so we do, we are well, kind of... we should get Keep back an arbitrary number of times. Well, not arbitrary, but many yeah. times. Oh, yeah, Jace would be very scary. I'm going to use it. Most lists don't main deck Jace. If they have main deck Jace and they draw it, I think mostly it's kind of a good beat single. We're just going to need some time to win this game. Okay. Like, Virtue of Strength is going to be crucial, I think. Like, Virtue Nissa, maybe? Yeah. And then, is there a creature we'd want to get back? Analyst? Maybe Analyst. I'm worried about the deck damage Analyst does to us. Oh, that's true. I'm not really sure I want another Analyst. Are we going to play this? Is that the plan? Well, yeah, so I want to cast the front half first. Okay. Right? Yeah, so maybe just a Courtyard? No, oh, that's really anemic. Uh, hmm. So we could just cast it. What if we cast Nissa? The point is that I want them to counter it. Well, then we can't play this, but maybe that's okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, fine. Let's just cast both cast virtue. You're right. Okay, and you want to get back a land? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Basically, I think that if we didn't... Yeah, I know that Shikiki recalls Kukur's World Soul Surge. That definitely might come up. Greg, can I ask a question? How many virtual strengths are in the exile zone? None. Okay, so our deck has plenty of virtual One. Good update, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have played that land. Oh. But I guess Arnissa doesn't really need to find more things. Yeah. The game is so weird. Yeah, maybe we should have waited to cast Virtue around Leak. That's reasonable too. This, 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 this is a very difficult game. I'm, I'm, I'm worried we beeped it, but we might still win. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think I'd like to cast another Deluge. From hand. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> I don't think they have a second farewell typically. At all. Virtue and put double game. The bangers, right? yeah. Get, take the bangers. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to. Okay, how much? We have six. So we still would get no more lies if we attempted to cast this. Why don't we just wait? Yeah, let's just wait. Do you want to like play. Sh Nissa? Nissa? Yeah, this is, a, this is bait. This is bait. I mean, can we still cast the front half of our virtual strength? I guess we just by playing irrelevant, but. Yeah. I think it's too irrelevant to show. Okay. We Do you want to play it. this, or is it too much deck damage? What's our deck status? It's 12. 12. It's a lot of deck damage. Okay, it's probably not worth it. I think it. we should show. Do you want to draw two cards? Drawing no. two cards is more reasonable, I think. We will then discard the hand size, though. That's true. Do you want to play Shigeki because we have another Shigeki? Maybe that's... I think we should do nothing. Okay. I think all of this is worse than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Maybe that's a deranged take, but I, I think you're trying to spend our mana, and it's the, the game is the mana axis is not relevant. Yeah. It's like a cards and deck axis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That deluge though is definitely a little scary for us, but it's okay because we're about to do a bunch of good stuff. Yeah. We have to hope they don't have a hard counter of the But if they don't, I think they're in real trouble. Yeah. Because even if they have get lost for it, that, that one turn of mana with it is insane. Um, they could have the, like, tap artifact counterspell card, though. I know. What the heck just happened? The light burned out? I think the light burned out. Do you want to go fiddle with the switch? Yeah, I mean, I could turn it off and on, but I think the light maybe just burned out. Oh, oh. no. What the hell? Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what that was about. Is Ni nee messing with us with her Google powers? Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's the ghosts. Classic ghost angle. How many streamers does it take to change a light bulb? I guess Andrew just did it, you know? I do have spare light bulbs for some of the lights in my house upstairs, but I don't know if I have lights for this light bulb. Okay, I want to cast virtual strength, I think. Okay. Just 
four, five, six. You have 18 mana. Yes. Mm, I don't know. What do you want to do now? I think I'm interested... Wait, so... I think maybe we should consider a doppelgang line. Okay. Do you want to doppelgang this? I think I want to doppelgang... Wait, so does that put them into play untapped? It does, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think Virtue and three lands is pretty reasonable, actually. Okay. Should we play Nissa first? Maybe. Does that explode? I, don't, I need to know how much mana we have left after we all that. We have 18. So that for three costs so 11. For four is what was discussed, so that costs 14. Well, in that case, we have to do it. because Okay. We, okay, let's just do it. And the lanes I want is that thing, two of their blue white lands, and their restless anchorage, maybe. Really? Okay. Is that crazy? Okay. That's fine. Okay. You should make basics. Oh, wait, yeah, making basics was right. Oh. Virtue. Fuck. Only. I just don't know what virtue does. Yeah, okay, sorry. I'm sorry, that was a huge pun. It doesn't matter too much. It seems like it might matter. But I don't know. My idea was that if we worry about win conditions, we can always just attack them with all of their lands. Yeah. Was my idea. But it, obviously it's wrong because the lands don't get tripled. My entire premise was that the lands would get tripled. Uh, eh, seems okay. I don't know, you want to play this Nissa? Sure. Okay, I want to play Should this. Should we fire some of these lands now? Well, no, these ones are tapped. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Mm, this is quite Wait, the one. You famously enter the battlefield tapped. Anyway, maybe just like say go. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I could easily punt it for us, but it's not a pro I don't think it's a big problem. <laughs> I think we're going to be okay. Tap your forest. Oh, wait. Why? Well, we just kill them now. We can just kill them now. Just after my thing else and, and then we kill them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> we just after that into a red and then we kill them. Classic. Tap your forest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we that's so much mana. <laughs> we saw a farewell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, now we're down to two hundred and thirty-seven floating <laughs> mana. So that's you know. Okay, they're, they're just dead. We can also raise them like multiple times this yeah. time. Yeah. I guess if they normalize it, it would go to the exile zone, though. Oh, are they going to kill our Nyssa? Okay. Um... Okay, wait. Do we have uh, any literal mountains in our bin? No. Okay. What's in our deck, sorry? Is it, there's no mountains in our deck, right? No? No. Okay. Mm. Okay, it appears we have Beef Fist. Mm. It's okay. Oh, so get you back stuff. We should get you back stuff. That's definitely true. Yeah. Probably Doppelganger oh, is a good wait. thing. Oh, wait. Shit, there was an island left. Oh, well. It's fine. Get you back Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Okay. And then we just cast another massive Doppelganger. Okay, yeah. That, that is true. That's a great line. <laughs> just pick, like, I don't know, four. What if we don't have enough mana? Doppelganger. So maybe... Deluges? I don't know. Anything that matters, really. And then just doppelganger for an obscene amount on, like, their token virtual Ooh, strength. Okay, uh, we're definitely going to hit Mountain. Oh, yeah, tar so, sure, Target Mountain. I guess I guess nothing matters. Other How about one. Mountain, Mountain... Virtual Strength? Virtual Strength, Virtual Strength. Sure. <laughs> okay. Kill them. What's happening? Well, we just ran out of timeouts. It's okay. Just submit zero. Just submit zero, please. For the love of God. Don't <laughs> it's right. We just passed our turn. Wow, so close. This might crash her. <laughs> okay. It, this is going to be fine. So now we just board in, I assume, a level inheritance and negates. Right? Yeah. We might also want the Goose Mother as a backup like threat. Yeah. It's not that great, though. It doesn't seem very good. I don't think I want it. Um, we, well, we have a lot of, okay, but hold on. We have a lot of cuts. Like, I think Iltani's Illusion is terrible. 
And I also think Seed of Hope doesn't... That's not what the game is about. Like, yeah. the deck like the deck damage is maybe relevant. Yeah. Um, Do we want this in case of Hearse? Is Hearse a card they play? I don't know. Uh, okay, there's no way Goose Mother isn't in. Look at, look at what's happening right okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't know which of these cards we want the most. Um, like, I guess just having some ill time explosion is maybe okay. Just draw two, clean up random stuff. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Oh, Chrome Shark? Well, the thematic Rogers, I guess, the shark answer. Well, as is Ill Tempered Explosion. Well, sort of. That sometimes kills our own stuff awkwardly. That's true. Okay, I've was one explosion, two of the Manic Rush. Turn the Earth is a Jace Hedge. Oh. Wait, that might be good. Okay, wait, cut all these explosions again. Let's board and turn let's I want to board and turn the earth and the Thematic Rogers. That sounds that all that, that that makes sense to me. Is there any obvious one thing we'd want to trim? Like fourth Nissa, maybe? I don't know. What if it's the Goose Mother? Ah, the Goose Mother. One copy. Wait, that makes that makes a lot of sense. I see. Okay, that, that sounds good. Yeah. Great. Genius. Well, I, I was thinking, yeah, I guess there's no way it ever makes sense. I was thinking you could loop them or something, but that's just completely illogical. Because uh, it's exiled. Yeah. Right. <laughs> In my head, you could loop them. was a key fact. <laughs> wow, the, the nut drop. <laughs> Is he just gonna be mulligan this? It's so bad. Is it bad? I mean, I just don't think like nothing is gonna happen in the first ten turns. Like okay. I don't know. Like I sort of think number of lands is a very important variable in this matchup. In yeah. Terms of okay, hands. okay. Okay. And like the actual spells on them is is, is kind of immaterial. Like I think I want to just cast this and get this back. Right? Why? Eh, good point. I don't want to do that. Like, I want to play the Goose Mother, and what if they get lost the Goose Mother or something? Mm. Now, they might exile it. Okay, that's very possible. But, like, you know, it seems like it's kind of a free roll just to, like, wait. We're not, like, it's like our mana's under... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think Virtue is one of the best cards. Okay, should I just play this for one? Yeah, I love playing for one. Okay. If they no more lies, it, that's just fine, I think. Like, I sort of think... Yeah, that makes sense as far as normal lies goes. Yeah. Because basically the way I feel about this is if I normalize it, okay, fine. I mostly don't think it's that easy to... Oh, wow. I mean, we get to attack and draw a card. Mission goddamn accomplished. Yeah, let's attempt to do that. Yeah. And if they want to whip it or something, all right. Fine. <laughs> Whee! Tap land? Yeah, I can just tap land. Um, I might just play this, I think. What's the idea of playing it? I don't really know. Oh, maybe this is a good rage turn. Wait, that's kind of a good point. Oh, wait. I actually like that's rage a, That's a great too. play. We should wait yeah, to yeah. Because it, it's, the, it's the deluge web art. It's the argument that it always is. Yeah. Blue light control, regardless of format, casting rage equals two on the format turn is just logical. They also just might still. Also, web's probably not in their deck. It's really bad against our deck. Oh, I don't think that. Is it? It's a flash... Threat. Oh, sure. Okay. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know what their cyborg mapping looks like. Sure. I imagine they're leaving in Wimps to slowly accumulate advantage and clock us in a way that never taps out. Okay. Um. Okay. Attack for three? Yeah. favorite stream moments for in in the whole stream is when jason told us to tap our forest <laughs> and it made 243 man yeah sorry i, I didn't quite like, understand what was gonna happen we're like oh it was very good yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay tap land get an island go yeah that sounds good <laughs> yeah <laughs> we definitely might have played that game otherwise but yeah, I, I, I just sort of, I, I don't know, I'm going to say this again, I, I just, if our opponent, like, let's say that at some point during the game we just played, 
our opponent had Stone Brain World Souls Rage. Yeah. As an example. I understand yeah. that was a game one and it's a little different. But yeah. Just imagine with me that this had happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you really telling me we would have won comically? I think we would have won. I think we would have won comically. Like, what do you mean? We would have cast Doppelgang on, like, some random biz with our hundreds of mana for a million. Mm -hmm. And then, like, okay, the following turn we attack them with, like, a hundred two, three flying lands. Like, not exaggerating a hundred. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, I think this belief that, like, oh, once you have infinite mana and infinite cards, you don't have World Souls Rage, what will you do? Like, don't be ridiculous. I, I do not believe that's a problem. That's a little scary. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Anyway, want to, like, World Soul Rage them? Again? Uh, maybe attack first? Attack with a goose. Okay. I mean, I may be in, I just, this does not strike me as an incredibly logical turn to do that. Does it? I mean, I don't know. It ramps us a bunch. I guess it's because of mana is what you're worried about. But like, they are, they do have a thing to do with their mana, which is bounce crypt But that's they, kind of just fine, isn't it? I mean, I assume they will if we pass. Yeah, but I kind of rather wait till they have four mana up, or seven mana up. Like I think the cryptic code is like a really not good way to spend their mana, right? Mm, okay. I maybe do you want to play this. I thought of a reason, which is farewell. Like we don't want this to be the last one in our hand. Sure, but it can be the second to last one. Uh, okay. It's still strictly better until then, right? Okay. I, I want to chill on the World Souls Rage. I think. Yeah, I, I don't think this is a great turn to cast it. If they. Had you, I mean, you would have lost the Stone Rain the Rages and Cast Dissipate to counter Exile Doppel. Well, that's true, presuming we also don't have a Malevolent Hermit in play, right? Yeah. Like, presume, presuming that we also don't have a Malevolent Hermit in play, or Flashback, or in the bin. Like, it's just like, I don't know. I'm worried this entire thing is sort of, like, worried about something that is possible, but shouldn't actually happen if you're playing well. Mm. But this is what I always say. I, I freely admit that if I'm biased in the direction, it's that... Andrew doesn't believe win conditions are basically ever important in any decks. And when people are like, you just, just fight them on the axis of their win conditions, I'm like, good luck. Uh, okay, I think I would play this and then World Soul for five. This turn, World Soul's Raging seems great to me. Okay, yeah. because we could do it like for three and kill their manifest. Oh. Wait, that's pretty reasonable. Is that better? I mean, it kind of seems like their manifest doesn't matter at all. And maybe the two, like... I mean, I guess we'll, like, play a land from our hand, too. Um, I think I just want to ramp. I don't really care about okay, it. Okay, yeah, and it also deals their face a relevant amount of damage. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's true. Yes, I do understand at some point there were zero doppelgangs, but it just... It sort of seems like to me having some sort of backup win condition, even a very small number of copies, goes a really long way. Yeah. And like, okay, if you were really worried about the Stone Brain, all right, in my sideboard, I have a second copy of Doppelgang. Or even if you want to get more creative, one of some other over-the-top win condition, which I'm sure I can find if I try. Yeah. And then I'll just have one Doppelgang and one of my other win condition and four of these. And like, good luck Stone Brain my win conditions. Like, I don't know. Like... For example, there's probably some other semi-reasonable fireball in standard, right? You could just have one of generic other fireball. Yeah. Oh. Let's play that, I think. That seems great. Maybe I'll play this. You could play, well, or Echoing Goose Perch if you're worried about the farewell thing. I mean, I'm not really, but okay. I, I want to play you, it. You did frequently claim to be worried about it during I'm, Christmas. I'm, I'm tired of having it in my hand. <laughs> I, I want it gone. <laughs> I don't know why you feel so strongly about it, but you made clear that you do. Awaken the Woods. Ah, oh, yes. Those are some various... Well, Chat's saying some various over-the-top win conditions. Yeah. The, the point I'm Song making is just of like... Song of to, to me, it seems trivial to get around... Um, okay, that's fine. I'll just pay? Hold on. We could decline and bring it back. Oh, no, we can't. It's countered. And exiled. Yeah. Never mind. We should pay. Okay. If it were possible for it to get back, I think that might be correct. Yeah. But it just isn't. In point of fact. Okay, they might fare well. Do we, is there, like... Well, we, yes. Okay, well, I mean, so do we want to grab a land from I our I think bin? getting a land back is pretty reasonable, yes. Okay, maybe a, one of these random ones? Yeah. Okay. Broker's hideout or something? 
I, I just picked one. Number. Although, wait, they could no more lies this, which is a little awkward. Well, if they have we did another it. no more lies. I mean, we didn't do it. We're choosing our target. I, I think we should do it. You think we should do it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, but so, Jason, it's just like, okay, the reason I bring this up is because an argument that you're using is that you're worried this deck might be exploitable by surgical traction effects. And kind of what I'm saying is, this deck still might be worse than the other deck. Yeah. I don't know if it's better or worse. I am, to me, the amount that, that I'm worried about surgical traction effects with both decks is zero. I'm going to, oh, I'm not going to block. They hit a black. Yeah, you shouldn't block. I just, I, I, I just can't imagine that these surgical track effects are an actual problem. <clears throat> okay, well, they did fare well, so good call, Greg. Okay. So now do we want to try to resolve this? I, I don't... I kind of... Well, I guess they could have another No More Lies, because they would have... Um, they, they definitely could, but I sort of think we should play it. Okay, I agree. It's just like... I mean, they only have three cards, two of them are known. At this, at this point, the X of cards is pretty real. Yeah. Um, uh, and then do you want to, like, play this and get it get it back and play Shigeki? Or no, we don't want to play Shigeki. We definitely want to play Shigeki. But I will play this. Yeah, I'm not sure we should get it back, though. I, I don't really think more... Uh, more lands doesn't seem to do much for us, does it? I guess that's true. I would just pass, I think. Can I see the Exile Zone? Okay, so we did lose our Gothel Gang. And two worlds of ruins. Yeah. We should be okay, but I guess we're sort of almost over right now that that's exiled, admittedly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. Psh, all right. I mean, that works. Ooh. So if we play this, we can't then play... Oh, we can play our thing. Sorry, are you... Can we, can we just play Virtual Strength then, Nissa? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Okay. It's better to do it that way. Yes. I mean, can we also get back in line first, or is that bad? not possible? Uh, it looks like we maybe can. Yeah, we can. Do you wanna? I think so. Um, wait, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I, I think getting a win back first seems reasonable to me. And as long as it leaves up green, it should be fine. Oh wait, we can't leave up green. Oh crap, we screwed up. Eh, whatever. Play Richard Chang. Dang. Eh, we beat it. I don't know if it matters. Yeah. Th that, 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 that's definitely fair, Jason. Again, I'm not... We, we, we know we could have done that. We, uh... We thought we could do it all, but we, we screwed we up. Missed, the count was right, just our number of forests was wrong. Yes, we... Um, <laughs> but it's That's fine. what we messed up. That's the axis we messed up. Okay, love that the, they're deducing. Because that means they don't have it for whatever value that matters. Okay, yeah. Oh, let's play Hermit first. Okay, I like that. And then Nissa. Yeah. I wanted to whatever. Yes, we missed it's a draw. The short answer is that it's a draw. There's a slightly more complicated longer answer, but yeah. Uh okay, uh, I don't know. Green. Various biz. This does not matter. You should not spend clock time on it. Clock time might be a refactor. Okay. Uh, so now we, we have nothing to get back to. We, we don't want to play this. We, we just definitely want don't want to play it. Say go. I think we want to hang out. Okay. I, I, I admit that's not great. We just don't have any gas. Yeah. I mean, a funny thing is that we can attack, but. Funny, oh, with Nissa. Oh, you're talking about on MTGO. Okay, MTGO has a bug where sometimes someone loses as a result of doing this. Wow. <laughs> and I think the person that loses is the Amalia player. 
I mean, I guess I'll make them pay three. You definitely should make them pay three. That is a, a large problem, though. I agree. I mean, it's not that. Not really much has changed. Oh, sorry. We lost our virtue. I didn't realize it hit the virtue. Should it's I concede this game? Let's go to our turn. You shouldn't concede it yet. Miss a go? Miss a go. I mean, the problem is they just, like, might not have a counter. And if they don't have a counter, they're very close to just being dead to destroy World Souls Rage. Like, yeah, that's true. So I sort of feel like it's too soon to concede. But okay, are yeah. we using? I mean, yes. Classic, classic sorcery. So I guess it doesn't work against Ezra. It does not. On a play. Sure. He's definitely right to play. We always pinch a Geki things back. Yeah. Okay. That's very good. Oh, wait. I don't want to act more on this turn, right? I don't think so. Um, hmm. So we could... Because, yeah, we could Saturn get back. It's two lands? Three lands? I think it's just one land. Yeah, okay. Not, not all. It doesn't seem good. Although at some point we want to get Geki, but... Yes, yeah, sorry, we must understood your question. Okay, this just happens. Yes. I thought you were asking what happens in real life, not at, not at Modo, on Modo. Because on Modo, I think what happens is not predictable. Um, I think Modo, like, sometimes draws and sometimes the Amalek player loses. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think it's against the turn of service because it's, like, a bug, and I also don't think it always happens. Yeah. I think it's much weirder than that. Uh <laughs> They're going to gain lifelink? I mean, they are at 11. No, that, like, that makes sense. could matter. It seems like it matters a lot, actually. Yeah, sort of. I mean, one thing is now we can with Magic Barrage it, though. Like, I mean, they have two more clues. I know, but then we're, like, we're sort of doing five to... We're, like, doing five to them. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, do we want to get back... Miss and World Souls Rage? Maybe. That's probably good. We probably should. Yeah, okay. I'm aware that they can't... We cannot get back Nissa. Should oh. we still do this? Wait, I don't want to do it anymore. Because I want to get back with the Mantic Barrage and the other thing. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. It, uh, no, they can still make it Hexproof. That, that's not how that works, Marceline. Oh, I see. You're trolling. Gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, I should have known. I've been got. Yeah, I am still somewhat interested in conceding this game. Because I'm worried about the clock. Okay, you, you can concede this game, I think. We're pretty dead. Yeah. I really it's just so hard for me to imagine victory. Um should we change anything? We should cut our limited garages? I think so. Do we want a braid? Or do we just want some military explosions because they can actually kill Esmond and stuff? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That seems much more logical to me. You could even cut the Goose Mother for third one. Honestly, it draws to worst case. It seems like Divinations might just be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would also be surprised by that. Yeah. But that's why I, mean, I was... want this. I think so. Okay. I mean, it just one copy goes so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the thing, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I just sort of think in the games we were just playing, if I had four mana draw to, I'd be happy most of the time. Yeah. So... I mean, this hand's omega weird because there's none of the lands, but I'll keep. I think we should keep, yeah. And what what's the plan on two, do you think? Slam level and everything? Okay. What, because you're worried about the, the next exiling it somehow? Well, I don't know. Shigeki seems like you oh. might activate it, right? Okay, never mind. I don't know. Okay. I'm revising my answer to I don't know. But I guess what I like about the Hermit is that we can, like... Wait, maybe we should play that. Hmm. I sort of want to play Shigeki. Okay, let's play Shigeki. I think Shigeki makes a lot of sense. I mean, I understand we'd like force the Ethan list through, but like they could just yeah, like yeah, kill yeah, it somehow. Yeah, yeah. I like Land Go, I think. If you're going to use Shigeki, why don't you want to main phase it? Oh, because I might find a basic. No, because they might have Tidebinder. 
Uh, okay. And there's, I don't see an advantage. Okay, I guess let's do it. <clears throat> it is somewhat insane that we are still red screwed. <laughs> that I would like to state. <laughs> Well, and then we just haven't found a single one of our, you know, cards. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Maybe this is a play, start with Hermit and then Analyst turn and leave it blue. That makes sense. Okay. okay. I, I just like... Basically, if they counter the Hermit, all right, fine. And if they don't... Oh, I should have played the lane Oh, you first. definitely should have. Oh, that was, that was a, a, a bad choice. Yeah, that was a very bad choice. All right, well, good beats. Yep, good beats. Okay, um, so now what do we fight, is the question. I mean, it might be Nissa. It also might be Shigeki. Wait, I think maybe it is Shigeki, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We need to team a ramp. We got a ramp, okay? I mean, next turn, our plan can be play Nissa, you Shigeki, <laughs> which is very funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like playing as a Yushigeki. It's, it's, it's a classic play. I mean, I guess the, the yeah, the, the Yushigeki usage here is not that important because we, we don't use the mana for anything. We aren't, like, well, it might get two mana, though. Eh, okay. I'm going to Yushigeki, I think. Yep. I love it. It's really fucking funny. <laughs> Theater. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How confidently do you have to say it? <laughs> <laughs> I like calling it Slokura Trivelder. That's a good name. How about Slogurka Trivelder? No Gurks. <laughs> That's why the deck is called Teamer No Gurk, Andrew. It's not called Teamer Yes Gurk. Just wait till we start discussing Jund Gurks. Well, uh -oh. they, they do the strike. Uh, I think it'll be just completely fine. I agree. Um, do you want to play the Analyst now? Wait, can, can we miss it into playing these Analysts? We can't, is that right? I mean, we don't have a double land. Ah, uh, you're right. What if we ill time explode it? And discard, play with the plan to discard this? Or discard something, the killer thing, yeah. Okay, I actually like that. You should play land first, please. For the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. And now, like, Nyssa? Yeah, I think it's fine. I think if they want to kill their Nissa, I think that's just okay with us. Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. What's the clock? I don't know, but we have six minutes left. I think our clock is not critical, but we are in mild danger. I agree. And plus, I'm piloting, not Andrew, so that that gives us even more danger. Okay. Well, they only have one card. I, I'm not sure we're losing. Right I don't now. think we're losing. Who said we're losing? I guess no one said that. This? Yeah, I like that. Do you want me to play a land first? Just to get in the habit? Sure, sure, yeah, that, that's a good habit. And then, I mean, you can just use it. I mean, so let's see what we mill, but it's pretty reasonable to just use it, I think. Maybe, maybe that's wrong. They probably don't have Tidebinder or whatnot, but if they do, it's such a big punish. I think we should just use it. Okay, yeah. Oh. Use Maestro's Theater? Yeah. <laughs> Oops, all Maestro's Theaters. They're always all Maestro's Do we want another island? I think so, yeah. Okay. And then I don't want to play this, yeah. I think. We're, we're past that. We're, we're long past that. And don't forget that I like that they farewell we can turn theater. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> it is quite funny. Yeah, it does seem like none of the shark stuff matters, and putting them from a barrage was just a huge mistake instead of having explosions that, like, yeah. can clean up sharks, but also just are divination. Mm -mm. So next turn, we can, like, deluge. We should probably just deluge next turn. Yeah, deluge figured out is probably the plan. Yeah. So I'm just trying to plan ahead a little bit because of clock time. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, yeah, I like deluging. It's fine. If you're playing fast and losing your scrub, Greg, I, I won't make fun of you as much as normal. Okay, thank you. 
<laughs> I hope you liked the as normal part. I did. Deluge didn't figure it out? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you probably want to flashback Deluge this turn, though, right? Then do you want to just say go? Well, we... I don't... Yeah, I wouldn't do it now. I would just okay, play courtyard just and... play courtyard yeah. and pass. Because we might want to negate something. I mean, we, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's meaningfully wrong. Flashing it back also, like, is, is in some ways better against Farewell, because... Yeah. Well, for, for obvious reasons, I suppose. We don't want to counter this, right? The clock's kind of getting real. I think we maybe should negate it. I think, we, I, think, I, think I agree, yeah. And then do you want a four-mana deluge now? Um, I think I, I would not. Okay. Because I'm worried about Graveyard Hate again. Okay. It's like, I get that that makes them counterable, but it makes it's much worse against Graveyard Hate because it will both of them get yeah, got. Yeah, 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 okay. There's only one of them. And it just doesn't seem to me like... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, do we want... We should flashback our turn the other response. Okay. Putting... I don't know, some good ones. Doppelgang, Memory Deluge, just, just some bangers. Will Souls Rage, maybe? Soul Rage, Doppelgang, and what was the other? Actually, how about Virtue of Strength is the last one? Instead of Memory Deluge, yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Classic, they cast six minute exile all graveyards. In response, we shoveled some good ones back in. Analyst land? Yeah, that seems good. Okay. I mean, I think... I'll... Oh, wait. How much can we cast that for? 5, 10, 13. So, like, 3. All right. So, so how about shark 4-4? Shark... Four, four? Well, the 4... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It'll be a 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, okay. So, like, shark, anchorage, deserted beach? Well, we've started getting basics better. Well, except oh, now that's maybe yes. not true. Wait, I think I'm into cast it on Shark Anchorage Deserted or Shark Anchorage Deserted Beach. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep. Common turn the earth W. <laughs> Oh, Plains Beach. Oh, I guess that's true. Anyway, uh, Analyst? Maybe not no Analyst. No, no, just play my Shrew Skater and okay. pass, I think. Oh, can we cast this? Well, no, because we, we, we got, because we made Anchorages. Oh, sure, okay. Basically, every time we've chosen the copy Anchorage so far <laughs> this match, it's been wrong. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's the situation. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> Mm, yeah, I guess maybe we should have played it to chump block this 4-4. Four, four. Well, aren't we just going to chump block with, like, one of our sharks? Maybe? I guess we can just chump block with one of our sharks. We can even, like, double block a 4-4 four, four with two sharks. Like, it's, it's not that bad. Just, like, the straight-up double block. Yeah. Because they can't really attack with a shark. Yeah, so now we, I think we just double... I would triple block up a 4-4, four, four, I think. Because the, the, the double block just is asking to get blown yeah, out, I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe okay. the triple block's just right. Maybe they blow it out, we just kill, we just beat them. That's maybe true. Wait, I want to triple block six, six actually. I'm, I'm off this. Is that okay? Oh, okay. God, wait. You should just yeah. make plays. Yep. Sorry. Do you want to get back doppelgang, or do we think that's too cute? It's reasonable. Certainly. I'm just going to do it for one and get back doppelgang. Okay. I'm just gonna take actions. Okay. I mean, now you can gobble in the cryptic coat for a bunch. Yep. We need to gain life, though. You might need to aphorize analyst first. I mean, we only have one thing in our board. Oh, true. I mean, do we need to get. Oh, yeah, because this is unblockable. Yeah, I mean, I guess we need to do that later. Maybe we just gobble in for a lot this turn. Yeah. Okay. 5, 10, 14, 20. So we can just do it X is 6. Okay. And that's fine. We don't need to flip incubates. No, nope. we'll just do like shark, cryptic coat, four, and then get some untapped lands, like some some of, some of your basics, maybe. Okay, say go. How we deck ourselves with these cryptic coats? I suppose. Yeah. 
Oh, we also have two 2020s, which is nice. Oh, yeah, I do like the two 2020s. Uh-oh, they, they, good, they GG'd us. Which I think means that we won. I, I it's, it's unknowable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's okay, they have to do this. <laughs> well, basically, all of our creatures will be lethal next turn, is the, yeah. is the, is the long and short of it. So, like, you're maybe supposed to, like, cast when you get next turn, untap, flip all the incubates and alpha. Because any creature getting through is lethal because, they, they, you know, we have all the yeah. things. I think it's Greg versus the clock. It is Greg versus the clock. <laughs> In fact, at this point, I think you just flip the ones you have. You don't even need to cast Deluge. It's too much clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can flip them whenever you want. Okay, I do appreciate them tapping all their mana for me. <laughs> I guess you don't need to flip them now. Just make some blocks. One minute. Yeah, that, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, kill them. Yeah, we really. Oh, hey, we're in Mythic. Wow, congratulations! We did it. (laughs) Nice work. (laughs) Exactly lethal. God, that's a good moment. Let's go look at what our manifests were. Ooh, Virtue of Strength, World Soul Rage, World Soul Rage. There are some good ones under there. (laughs) Yeah, perfect. You can go to bed happy now. (laughs) Dossel King is a silly card. It is definitely funny that. In the end, it's possible that our opponent's shark was actively good for us. Yes. Also, let's see. Where did it? Where, where did we start in Mythic? 94%? Wow, Ugh. that's pretty low, Greg. You've really been losing a lot off stream, I assume. I actually haven't been. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I just wanted to... Like, I don't play off. that much Constructed, and the fact that I was in Diamond, you know? <laughs> yeah, good point. I love this <laughs> What deck does Timor Rage have trouble against? Oh, I don't know. I believe very likely, in fact, I don't know what else. Okay, this looks like a keep to me. Ooh, Ulamog, Breck. Okay, I've, 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 that clock thing was too stressful. I now have to be, uh, I now gotta play a little faster, you know? I, I am, okay. People, like, yeah, I think the Demir Ridge thing is, like, not at all straightforward. I, I no one is, let me, let me, let me rephrase. Uh, so, yeah, people have claimed that to me. I, I remain rather unconvinced, but okay, it might be the case. the mirror is what we seem to be playing. Okay, I want to play Cabretti Courtyard or Broker's Hideout. Me too. Mountain? Yeah, okay, that sounds reasonable. I think that basically, like, okay, I guess I would start with, if you believe Demir is unfavorable, like, I guess I'm kind of going to kind of rephrase my question. I'm going to play this, I think. Yes. And the the thing. And I think I'm going to go get another green. Mm Mm-hmm. Even though I guess if we draw a literal deluge, I I don't think we'd even do it. No, it's fine. Okay. I, I would start with this. The only important question is the blue-black matchup. Yeah. That is literally the only question that matters. No other aspect of this is important. Spelunking. If you think the deck is good against blue-black, it's maybe the best deck and you should play it. If you think it's bad against blue-black, you shouldn't consider playing it. So, like, if you want to investigate it, it's, like, really straightforward to investigate. So, I'm just going to do this right now, right? Yeah, like that. There's no reason to, to get cute. I would not get cute. But I'm always cute. Well, then there's no way to get more cute. Exactly. Good point. Mm mm. But I'm pretty. But the thing that what I would say is I'm pretty unconvinced of this blue black claim. Like, I don't know. I get the blue black deck has like disruption and stuff, but I just feel like you kind of have like a lot of things they have to deal with. Your, your density of things that matter seems pretty high to me. Like, it's not like, oh, did you get deep cavern bad and some counter magic and you roll over? It's like, well, I don't know. 
Yeah, okay, but I, I'm not even discussing that right now. I'm actually literally discussing the, the completely stock build. I don't think I understand why it would be bad against blue-black, but that might be the case. Great draw. Okay, so hear me out. What about... Wait, can we Nissa Analyst this turn? Oh, and then... And then do more bits. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, easily. So we should we should miss it. We should miss analyst. Yeah. And like our more biz might be like World Souls Raging Bear Analyst or something. I mean, like that's that. what I would like to do, yeah. But we'll get to that. First, let's miss analyst. Blue, red, green, green. Red, blue, and you land. Oh, that was the worst one to get. Oh well. Eh, this doesn't matter. And you land. And you land. So, I have a question. Should we ill time explosion? Wait, dead, dead check or something? Oh, dead check? I don't think they're anywhere close to dead, are they? Oh, should we just ill time explosion and accept that the, our thing will die because we can just replay yeah. Nissa? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that it's seems great. great. I want to take out the Strigeki. Okay, yeah. I don't really know what we'll discard, but we'll get to that. Ill timed explosion and the island. I guess we haven't played a land yet this turn, but we can just like play Nissa and then do a big world. We like. Yeah. So your your plan is to world souls them next turn. I, my plan is to world some of them once this turn and then figure it out. Okay. Sure. I don't think or so we right. can just do it next turn. I guess there's no rush. Eh, okay, good point. Let's just play this and say go. I think that's pretty reasonable. Oh, I guess this was a reason to not do this. Oh, well. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. I think it'll be fine. Agreed. Mm -mm. We have 12... So wait, we have 15 mana at the moment? Yeah, I'm pretty unconvinced of that, but it might be the case. Basically, like... I mean, I think I just want to, like... World Soul Rage X. Wait, wait, wait. I, I need to ask a different question. Can okay. we Shigeki back Analyst and Nissa in a mana positive way? I mean, we only have five lands in our bin and not many basics left in our deck. So mm. I, I'm very skeptical. Because that costs six plus three plus six. So that costs 15 to do. Yeah. And we'll get, I mean, we'll get five triggers plus triggers for the number of lands in our deck, which is very few, actually. I think we just have a mountain left. Hmm, okay, I see. So what are you proposing? I mean, I might want to, like, World Soul Rage X5... Analyst? Um, analyst. I mean, I don't hate that. Or maybe we should end the ill-timed explosion, because we, like, what we really want is to draw cards. We yeah. could just, like, do both. We could just, like, do this, X5, get back our land, and then just Divination. We or we could, like, World Soul Rage for all our mana on them and pass. I guess that's really bad. I don't want to do that. Okay. Then... Maybe we should start with this. I think I want to just rage the analyst for five and maybe channel Shigeki on, after that. Okay. To get back, like, analysts we'll, and we'll, stuff? And we can do it later on their turn, okay. but yes. Okay. Get back various biz. Like, we can get back two things, right? So we can get back, for example, Nissa analyst and then that... Can't get back Nissa. Oh, right. I always forget we can't back back Nissa. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe this is worse then, actually, because I was imagining we get back Nissa. But it still seems pretty good. I agree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we actually can get back three things. I guess we will then. I mean, we might as well. We could just get back, like, World Soul Rage. Uh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, World Souls Rage and some various biz. Yeah. Be my proposal. 
Mm. Yeah, we are getting to the point where we sort of need to kill them. Yeah. Because um, now I'm, I'm kind of scared of their virtue. Agreed. But... Aftermath Analyst is, in, is, is the card in question. Yes. This one. Okay, so we want to get back World Soul Rage, Analyst, Analyst, or maybe an Explosion? Analyst, well, I guess it, another Explosion we can use with our first Explosion to kill their Sure, thing. you can get an Explosion, yeah, that's okay. fine. I mean, we all just World Soul Rage it, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah. Mostly I think it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess we can ill-time an Explosion. So we have thir seven, okay. <laughs> Alright, they have enough. Okay, so here we should definitely want to turn the earth because we can turn the earth their lands. Yes, and Tranquil Thrill back. That makes sense. And I assume the counter magic is good too. I assume all of that stuff is good. Okay. So Mo and Horn is counter magic. Right? Yeah. Maybe point. it isn't. Because they can pay three too much. And yeah, only... and it like a lot of the things you want okay. to counter. Off it. You convince me immediately. I mean I guess negate also only like negate's not that good either. I think maybe Shigeki is bad. I, I guess I also think probably it's our usual boarding and interaction that's not creatures we cut Cetophobes is probably the case, because we added four non-creatures. Yeah, I mean, I like that Shigeki on two is, like, does speed you up. That's true. Maybe we should leave Shigeki's. I mean, we could cut ill-timed explosions, but they're, they're not that good. Yeah, I want to do that, I think. Well... Okay. We, I mean, we still have two, to be clear. How's clear. this? It does seem like maybe one Shigeki... That's fair. Like, having a Shigeki as a possibility. Yeah, 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 I'm down for that. Maybe that's just, like, too weird, but... I, I don't... I think it's hinged. Okay. <clears throat> also, I didn't realize we only had three virtues when we were, like, card counting with exile stuff. Oh, yeah. I, I also... I'm not confident that three is correct. Sure. I, but, to be fair, to respond to my own comment, given that you would like to play a non-three number... Would it be that you'd want to play four or two? I, have, I, I actually don't know. Yeah, me neither. That's why I don't think it's crazy to play three. I just assumed it was four because I didn't look that closely. Also, I assumed this was a keep because it's any hand. Yeah, obviously it's keep any hand. Yeah. Um, Moses I've seen seem to play three. Okay. That seems to be like the hive mind opinion, but I don't know if it's right at all. Um, like, so, sort of the idea is something like, the front half is okay, but having two of the front half is usually pretty bad. Yeah. And you mostly just want access to it rather than wanting to draw it all the time. Yeah. So I would say, like, from first principles, it feels like a three of to me. Yeah. But that's not really a... If I played 100 games of the deck, I'd have a much more reform, refined opinion. Do we want to play Analyst here? I think so. Okay. I mean, what I don't like about it is if we play Analyst into Nissa, we're really exposing ourselves to the explosion. Well, yes. I mean... We can't just not play Nissa, though. That's like, true. In fact, playing Sack that next turn is pretty convenient. Oh, good point, good point, good point. Oh, and now we could play Nissa because if they explosion us, at least they lose their Nissa, too. Yeah. I think I maybe want to do that because we only have one land in our bin. And, like, using this to get back two lands isn't that good. And, like, if we do this into this, we could use World Soul Rage to kill their Nissa. Okay, wait, sorry. So what are you advocating for? Playing Nissa. Okay. Because the, 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 the point about how few lands are in our bin is an argument for playing Courtyard. Not an argument playing this up. Well, no, because the argument, I think, for playing this is that then we use Analyst next turn. The upside is that ah, it's a save our okay, untapped yes, yes, land. Yes, yes. So let's look at I'm this. saying that doesn't really matter. We don't like, care. We don't, we don't want to use next turn anyway. Yes. Like, we, 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 would, we would do it and shrug and it'd be fine, right. but we'd prefer not to. Or this, if this lives and they don't, like, kill us or whatever, we get to, like, make have five mana off the Nyssa and then use this for three. Now, maybe that's what they're about to do to us, but, you know. Whatever. Yeah, I guess... To... Jason, what you're saying about whether or not you can complete black, even if you black slide, you can black flagger, that, that's all fair. To me, I guess, I'm sort of less worried about the question of which Aftermath Analyst build should I play, and more worried about the question of if I have a standard turn tomorrow, should I play an after analyst build? Which I, I think the answer is yes. Um, but I acknowledge that if you're deciding between builds, then that is important. 
I mean, do you not just want to miss and play a second? I don't know. I mean, I do. I think we're going to comically die, but... Well, I think it's very possible, but I don't see what we can do about it, is the thing, right? Oh, me neither. And I guess we should play that. Maybe? Mostly I like that it fills our yard, which is pretty... Well, it's sort of like if we untap, we'll be able to play it before we crack our first animals anyway. And, like, it's maybe better against... Untap with literal everything? That's not going to happen. Well, okay, so, so, sorry. Sell me on why you want to play it, because I think what probably is going to happen in the turn is going to crack animals, make a bunch of lands, make a bunch of mana, it'll type an explosion, and pass back. And I, I basically... Tell me the scenario where you'd like to have played it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I, I sort of think it's fictional. I mean, kind of my thought is, like, we need to crack an analyst next turn. I agree. Therefore, we shouldn't play one. Well, I think we're going to have trouble. If they kill our permanents, we're going to have trouble cracking an analyst anyway. Mm, I guess that's Basically, true. what I'm worried about in the situation where they make five lands and five million mana and fill time explosion us, we're just... That game is over. But, I mean, they killed their board. That's true. I, yeah, I mean, it definitely might be over. Okay, well, the second analyst is extremely bad here. Oh, yeah. What I've learned about this matchup is being on the play is quite important, based on just, like, how factors line up. Like, I know being on the play matters, you know, magic, blah, 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 but, like, this thing where you play Nissa, they play Nissa, and you get to world's, like, the person who went on the play gets to world soul rage immediately is, like, really messed up. Um... But yes, being on the play is good. Water is wet. The sky is blue. Candles rock. They really don't want many forests, do they? Mm -hmm. <sighs> hmm. Well, yeah. How was your Monday, Andrew? Hmm. Pretty slow, yeah, okay. I suppose. Yeah, mine I too, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's possible I don't have it. <laughs> they just deluged into some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> They don't have Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and they're going to sack it. Let's bring back the lands and cast another deluge. Uh huh. Maybe they still don't have it, Greg. Yeah. That's my commentary on the game. Okay. I mean, you know. You ever just looked at 11 Yu-Gi-Oh cards off a deluge? Uh, yeah. I sure have. Just like, you know, maybe one of their cards is like a gold two of spades. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, gold. Maybe it has a gold seal on it, too. They're incentivized to put it in their hand. You know? That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nice steel card. Oh, yeah. If they're, if they're whole hand or steel cards, we might be in some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mold gets really big. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, this is my biggest bad beat. So I was away and, you know, hadn't connected my Switch to the internet. And they kept telling me the Bellatro update is live. And I was like, whatever, I'll update it when I get home. And it turned out the Switch was, like, behind a Bellatro update. And I, like, beat a bunch of things, including, like, the highest level of stakes and I was, like, really crushing it in Bellatro. And then I got home and updated it and learned that, like, it's much... I was playing with a handicap. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like something you would learn. Yeah. There are just, like, a bunch of... Like, none of them are that big. But it's a bunch... Like, for example, like, the Molt cards in... in um, It's, it's like, a plus four Molt instead of plus three Molt. They're which, done? Like, Okay. Wow, I wish we had played the analyst. It, it, well, it's, it's fine. So now we just play Courtyard, make two mana, then play Analyst. Yeah, then yeah, crack, yeah. The, crack one of the Analysts. Okay, that's true, that's true. I mean, yes, it did work out worse. I'm sorry, but that's okay. I think we're going to win. Okay, so we're going to do... Does it matter? No, take actions. This is a turn where you could be roped. Ah, okay. Oh, good point. The 
only thing to keep in mind is that you play additional analyst before you crack the first analyst if you have the mana to do so. Yeah. Which I think you probably will. And at some point, I guess you need another green to do that, but whatever. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> After this turn, yeah, great comment call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna just like keep playing these. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then we can just crack all our analysts. I mean, I don't know how much made of this is, it might be lethal. I'm definitely not going to do any math, but we'll find out if it's lethal together, shall we? Eh, yeah, I think so. Mm -mm. They are at 32. Yeah, it definitely might not be lethal. Don't, don't get me wrong. Do we have any way to remove Virtue of Strength from play? Just like Tranquil Frillback do it? Yeah, it does. Okay. So that's, I guess that's our plan B, is to, tr to throw back them at some point. But we, first we should make all the mana. And, you know, all the life as well. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right that we buy Doppelganger and copy their virtue in some random basics is, is lethal. Oh, yeah, good point, good point. I think it's very likely we'll kill them this turn. I guess I'm a little sad we cut Shigeki from our deck, but I guess we don't have that many cards to dig through. I think it'll be fine. Do this. Maybe I want to Deluge first. Okay, yeah. I have no idea why, but sure. Okay, I'm right. going to find the Frillback, I think. Yeah, that's very good. Frillback and... Second World Soul Rage? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now do this. Uh-huh. I think it's dramatically easier in Pigford. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. Like, you just... You just figure it out live. There's like no clock or anything. Like pa paper yeah. just. <laughs> okay, so I definitely want to like exile their graveyard and kill this. I think, or do I want a deluge? No, you. I. Yeah, I guess I don't see the point of deluging at this point. Because I'm pretty low on mana. Right. So I guess we should just play it kicked twice, and, and maybe just kick three times. So, oh yeah, just to gain four life. Because... Wait, actually, we should maybe World Souls Rage and kill one of their things. Kill after my thingless maybe. And then play it because it's, it's it's made a neutral it's made a positive to like world Souls rage. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah. So in I, fact, should we world Souls rage both their things? Maybe, yeah. But at least at least we kill after anything list. Nissa might not matter to be honest. Okay. Well, you should do it for more. You should do it for all your mana. But anyway. Well, five is is we only have five things. To oh, okay. Then five. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm shocked we only have five actually. Uh, this right. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm just going to make a bunch of green. Yeah. Or do we... We I guess we can kill the Nissa for free, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we use up our rage, but that seems free, right? Yeah, it's pretty free, I think. So I would kill the Nissa as well. And then Trinkle, go back them, yeah. Yeah. I guess it's minus two mana to do this. Wait, but is that's... that fine? Wait, 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 it might not be fine. Hold on. Because we it costs us two more than the life we get back. Which, so it's, it's not fine. Because we want to exile the graveyard and kill the enchantment. Uh, so that, oh so yeah, because that costs five. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we just, just play it kicked all three ways. Well, now we can only play okay, it then two ways. Yeah, but it's well. fine. My bad. No, wait, you can kick it all three ways. No, you need green. I mean, it's half the mana yeah. wrong. Okay. Uh, auto pay, auto pay. Uh... Exile target players, graveyard, destroy target artifact, or enchantment. Oh, yeah, I guess given the Rex in the grave, maybe we, we should kill them over the internet after the last week. Oh. I guess that's true. So 
Sorry. I was just thinking it's pretty likely they have another Nyssa. Yeah. But, which I do think is still the case. But, yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we're going to win still. I agree. Well, I, I don't... Like... Just a nice little <laughs> trickle fill back action there. Yep. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, I, I, yeah, I definitely don't think it matters for doppel reasons. I was thinking it might matter for other reasons, but yes, I do, I do agree with that. Ugh, that was a good one to end on, but I guess we should play one more, huh? Yeah, we should play one more. What do you mean? Nice. How many have we played even? That was four, I think. Okay, well, we're going to get the five, aren't we? Yeah. Wow, 82%. Okay, percents can go pretty low, huh? Well, I think they go much lower in Constructed. This sure looks like any cards. Yeah. Oh, I guess they do. I, I guess I'm used to Wait, limited. Wait, keep in mind, we maybe shouldn't play Maestro's Theater on one. Mm, that's a good point. I don't know if we should, but I kind of think we shouldn't. I think we shouldn't also. At least for a turn. Yeah, like it seems like waiting a turn is a, kind of a free roll. Yeah. Okay, well, our opponent has Scoured Barons. I think... Oh, I guess this was a bit of a punish, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean, do you want to play it now with the intent of next turn maybe play Virtue and then Nissa plus land? Oh, that makes some sense. I Although think that we, does make well, sense. We, we don't have a way to get a second green, though. No, I understand. So next turn, will Virtue Strength back Maestro's Theater? The following turn... Oh, yeah, okay. I'm saying not playing yeah, this yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to play this on curve. Okay, okay. I understand. Because, okay, I don't really know what Scarabrands means, but I sort of assume it means they have a bunch of kill spells. Yeah. And if you told me they have a bunch of kill spells, then clearly I don't want to play Nissa and, like, make it, right? Right. So. Okay. Virtuous Strength, the thing? Yeah. Are they playing some sort of, like, combo deck? I have no idea. Or are what they playing is. a fair life gain strategy? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen a lot. It could mean, like, <sighs> okay, I guess that moves me towards fair life gain, probably. The, the prism creature schism. Yeah. But anyway, you want a uh, kaboom? I mean, that seems goodish. I want a kaboom. Yeah. We can discard like memory deluge and some biz. Yeah. Maybe seed of hope. I mean, maybe, maybe one of the lands. lands. Maybe just this. Yeah. Okay. 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 I like that. The classic. We virtued it back just so we could discard it. Yeah. Clearly, they're playing a Molly. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. I mean, <laughs> they might. Have the card Amalia. They might be playing f f Fair Amalia, you know? We'll see who can gain more life. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, I want to, I think now, just Nissa, right? Yeah, I mean, we could just, like, World Soul Rage for two, their, one of their random creatures, and keep ramping, is, I think, also a fine thing. Yeah, but I think I have bigger dreams for this World Soul Rage. Okay. Mm -mm. And I also just think... Like, if they kill Arnissa, it doesn't matter that much. It might yeah. find its own replacement, or it finds Analyst. We can just play the Analyst and look if they yeah. kill it. They probably can't kill both, and I don't know. It just seems good in a lot of ways. Uh, we definitely want more green, though, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Uh, blue. Dealer's choice. Mm, I guess blue is wrong. I'm going to play it. Okay. Yeah, I guess we would have played Seed of Hope. You're right, but whatever. Because now they're just kind of in a bind, right? Because they, they basically they have to have two kills while they lose. Yeah. And if they have two kills, it's not like they're winning, you know? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's that's some synergy right there. That synergizes with all of it their... all, It all, like, it all, it ties them <laughs> together. Look at all these triggers. <laughs> it's hard to say how we're going to overcome it. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What is what about it? We'll start about? with Maestro's Theater. Yeah. How many things do we have? Oh, it's a lot of things. Green. Mm, red. And wait, we should see the folk before we do it, I guess, right? Oh, I guess. I mean, is that is that hinged? I think so. It seems pretty hinged. I think so. It's like we're just gonna take not a, not. Oh yeah, no, we can just take decline. Oh, decline. <laughs> <laughs> should I hit him with the oops? 
No, do not. <laughs> well, well, I, sh- I should have just said yes because it's an empty threat. Because Greg would never email. Me. <laughs> Red, green, blue. Hmm. Okay. Well, now I need to mute them because they emoted at us. Green. <laughs> I think the emote was pretty appropriate. <laughs> I like the, I like the totally lost emote because Blue. it accurately describes the game state. Blue. Do you want another red Green. for the memes? Sure. Maybe a white. Oh my god! Please don't get a white. So keep it in our pool. It will really fuck up the other part. I did it just to tell you. Wait, okay. so hold on. Is the virtue so the virtue adds four mana to our mana pool? Uh at least. Well, there's two untapped lands. Oh yeah, we so. haven't played a land. We have played a land yes. this turn. So it, it adds exactly so it, it, it's it's minus three mana to play. Yeah. Seems kind of good. Okay. Do you want to deluge? Do you want to just world soul roll rage for a bunch? Yeah, it's tough because all the lines win. Um I guess I'm done deluge. Yeah, okay. We can still World Soul Rage for a bunch? Yes. Ooh, let's just find an explosion and an analyst. Yes, and then we can analyst this turn and sack if you'd like. Yes. Which, which is pretty good. I think I want to do, so. Yeah, I, I'd like that. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to do to our mana here, but I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Blue, green, red. <laughs> <laughs> oh don't worry we have plenty more game actions okay well i don't know what their deck does but vampires i didn't see very good it's really good again oh wait it doesn't hit vampires oh oh they conceded the match okay that doesn't count Play that doesn't one. count that doesn't count they conceded in game one greg yeah i mean i understand why they conceded because they end up for a bullshit uh-huh. but we need more bullshit how many times do you think they've played against this deck I find that extremely hard to predict, to be honest with you. Because it depends on it's like how popular it is on Arena versus yeah, Mono. And okay, like, okay. I don't know. It sort of seems like this is the deck people will be scared to widely adopt. By the way, one of the advantages of this deck relative to the other deck is that it's playable on Mono. Oh, is it? Okay. It's it's much more playable, yeah. Should I Seed of Hope? Probably not, right? I don't think so. I, I need to play a Tap Room, yeah. It's still not... It's still easier to play an arena for sure. Sure. But basically, it's nice that you're eventually, instead of having some like convoluted loop or whatever, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. like kill them at the end. Oh, sure. Okay. That, that, that like is pretty important. Now I think I am going to see the hope. Yeah. See what I see. Wow! <laughs> we got him. I'll go find a blue land. I think it'll be fine. Oh, by the way, I don't know what we're playing against because they played the wrong land to go with their Spyglass Siren. Oh, good point. So this could there are some various like blue white game object decks is like yeah, a thing yeah, with like yeah. Warden that I've seen. Oh, I've even seen that card in them sometimes, although it's not oh, not always. Okay. So I, that's what I think we're playing against. Nissa. Hmm. I mean, this deck factually plays Get Lost. Okay. Oh, given and that, can... do you want to play Nissa? Oh, right, because they can get lost it off this. They also can just counter it, I guess, with No More Lies. No, they can't No More Lies because this makes colorless. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we like don't mind if Nissa's no more lies. It sort of seems like maybe that's fine. Well, okay, Nissa will not be no more lies. Right, if we get lost. If okay, get okay. Lost. I, I guess we should go land and pass. I think we should get a land and pass. I'm, yeah. I'm not really in a rush. Yeah. I mean, I guess famously we're at 24 and they have a whopping one power in play. Yeah. So we do, in some sense, have all the time in the goddamn world. Well, okay, we played some of it, Kelmar Man, and my main analysis is that you don't... You, that's true, but you actually don't need the Convolute Loop almost ever. Okay, I mean, that is a clock, but they are tapped out. Yes. So we could, I suppose... Well, I guess the Wrath is non-terministic, which yeah, is awkward. Yeah, I think I don't want a Wrath. I think I maybe just want to play Nissa Tapland. Yeah, and then if we find an, an Analyst, play it? Yes. I like that. It's not a plan without flaws, but I think it has more benefits than flaws. Agreed. 
Mm, blue, maybe? Oh, can't find blue. Well, you should not find blue due to, due to its illegality. Green? Whatever. Dealer's choice. Blue here. Nice. Right, okay, so to be clear, whoever in the chat was discussing earlier playing less Nisses, I believe the point is the Nisses you do have always hit Analyst is the idea of doing this, but it still seems wrong to me. Okay, I mean, we are, uh, we do look to be about to take 11. Yeah, I think we'll find a way to overcome that. I think so, Because, like, we're going to gain a billion life, take a billion actions, and wrap their entire board. Anyway, should we start with this? Yeah, I think start with that. Well, Kellerman, I actually think that I think your second claim isn't true. I think I had found on Mono that, that that the other version is just like not playable. Like it's not even the loop; just like the whole thing isn't playable. Like it, it's like egregiously unplayable. That was my experience. Other people may have had different experience, or maybe are better know some tricks to do it better. Um, but yeah, I I did not find it to be palatable. Like, I felt like I was timing out every match, even when I wasn't looping, much less when I was. But maybe I just don't have the, you know, the fingers required. I, I am old and decrepit. <clears throat> mm -mm. Green. Okay. Okay, so is worlds... So what's, what's the deal with... Oh, wait, wait, you need to analyst first. Yeah. Okay. I also, also, something you might we still have not played a land. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. Well, I think we should board in a bright. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> does the Wedding Cliff doesn't make them blue, does it? Uh, I don't know. I doubt it. Do you want this, bro? It seems pretty good. Yeah, I, I understand you sort of cut seed from every matchup. Yeah. But I, I'm not sure that makes it wrong. Yeah. Even if that's true. You thought the opponent had a chance? Yeah. Uh, they did not have a chance. And as an update. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> I, I don't hate Goose Mother as, like, a you know, a guy that blocks sirens. Like, maybe none of that matters. Mm, I'd submit. Okay. That's one of the things I liked about it against in the match we played against Demir, where it like both was a good value card and also just like it seems like one of their best ways of winning is like getting an early Gix down with some stuff and that it just is a two two flyer. That's true. And I mean, it, we could we could definitely have more Goose Mother if we wanted them. No, no, I don't. I one one makes some sense. But. Well, to be clear, I mean, I, I would, I, I'm mostly just thinking like two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, this hand is horrible. Let's consider other keep. I want a mulligan. Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, this seems like a clear keep to me. Okay, and tuck second deluge. I think so. Yeah, I mean, the only turn we took a land, but I don't think I want to do that. But you should be sure to play Cabretti Courtyard on one. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm still gonna do that. Yeah, I don't think that should be anything. I mean, I, I see how it, in theory, could have, but I, I don't yeah. think it did. It's funny. I, I have this habit of, like, when we draw a card, I'm like, oh, chat's going to be so confused because, like, they won't see what the card is yet. But because on Moto, sometimes our, like, seventh card is obscured. I think we could just wait a turn on the brain, honestly. I mean, notably, they might act, oh, because they can't do this till their end step. Right. And I don't want to hit the one. They have to pay three to do it, too. I mean, I don't want to hit the one they don't animate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I think that, that that thing is just fine. Like okay. I, I'm not worried about like delaying it. I want to let sure. them do it. Okay. Right. So you want to just make a green? Yeah, I would just like brokers and, and find... I, I'm going to find green, I think. Well, the, that's... Yeah, I guess so. Okay. It's a little complicated. Mm, but... Maybe we should find blue. I think we should find blue. Okay, yeah. I agree. I acknowledge it's complicated, though. Yeah. Because I think next... Well... I guess we don't... There's really no rush to do this. I, I don't see why we should rush to do it. I mean, I'm not sure we should even do it. Yeah. Uh, wow. The Norns Inquisitor. Look at that. Look at that value. They can 
they can warden out of range of our braid, Greg. That's true. I mean, like, that's pretty good, honestly. I don't know if it will... I mean, our hand isn't very good. Like, we could lose this game. Oh, no, wait, they didn't do it. Hmm. This, I think, was not their best maneuver. Let's immediately abrade the warden. And then go find another blue, maybe? I think another blue, yeah. Because if we want green, we can just play a force next turn. Yeah. I don't know why we'd want green green next turn. I, I guess if we draw Nissa, we're punished, but it, it still seems right. Oh, sure. Because we don't yeah. have green pretty land. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah. <laughs> That's good to hear, Beam Lord. We do our best. Mm -mm. Hmm. I think we should deluge. Yeah, and just slam it now. Yeah, I think so. It isn't ideal. Wow, this is so good with Norn's thing. Because you make it into a thing and it already has two counters on. Yeah. Six, seven, I mean, we're still not that on board. Yeah, okay. Cool. Okay, that's the goods. Um. Hmm, but we are dying is the issue. Yeah, we kind of needed the wrath. Greg is suffering is greater content. I'm suffering a little. I mean, I think World Souls Rage has got to be part of the plan here. I think so. Like these two, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe Nissa. I guess we have a bunch. No, of... Nissa doesn't. See... I think Nissa doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. I like this and this. Yeah. Idea. I'm not sure it's like enough, but basically, like maybe there's a world where like player for less. Are we play... sorry? We like World Souls Rage to narrowly survive, and then next yeah. after thing or something like that. I'm not sure it's really enough, though. Well, also, that might mean it's not enough now. Uh, I guess, no, that's not true, because it's still less damage than flipping over for four. Yeah. Four, not... It's a lot of damage. But no one say it's not a lot of damage. Okay, so... I think we're dead. Are we? So wait, so, we, so we, how, much, how much life does our World Souls Rage gain? I mean, th three. Well, it can be at least, we can at least Broker's Hideout, Broker's Hideout, World Souls Rage. For two? Oh, I see. Okay, we're dead, you're right. Hmm. I, I don't know, the thing is, it doesn't seem like Vampire's Bench is very good against this. I don't think it is. So, should we sideboarding differently? Or we just kind of we lost that one not finding the wrath good beats. I think we lost to not finding the wrath good beats. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we were pretty unlucky in the sense that like our deluge had a lot of good hits. Yeah, like it's not just the wrath. Roll back would have been very good. I yes. guess no, because we had very little green mana actually. Well, sure, but even just like playing it and destroying one thing is pretty incredible. Yeah. Um, I guess do we not have a second green? I'm I feel not like, sure. We I, feel like, no, I feel like we had exactly two. But maybe that's wrong. <sighs> Okay, I've decided I'm unconfident. Maybe we had one. I think we had one. Because we played for yeah, yeah, yeah. that we deluged. I don't think we had another force in our hand. Maybe we did. Did yeah. you ever change the candle sponsor that you were opening? No, had? I didn't! Okay, I'm gonna keep this hand. In okay. The meantime. <clears throat> I'll just take Even the though wheel. I think this is one of one of he who smites his candles, but I don't actually remember. This one I kind of forgot who gave to us. Okay, what are you what are you vibing with? Me I let's do the tangerine ginger, you know? <laughs> Wait, we're doing it now! We're changing to this lovely tangerine ginger candle with notes of clementine and mandarin. <clears throat> so you should probably, like, aggressively find green sources, Yes, right? yes. I found one blue at the beginning. Sure, Maybe yeah. that was even a mistake, but my intent is to find green the rest of the way. I guess it probably wasn't, because this has two colors in its yeah, cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely wasn't a problem. Now Greg's taking the wheel again, for those, those keeping track at home. I love the wheel. I haven't gotten to, uh, I've done so little piloting recently, you know, because I was away. Why keep six lands? Um, basically, I think that when you play this after a Thanos deck, what you have to understand is that, well, first of all, your deck just has 30 lands in it. It's yeah. like half lands. I think I'm going to go get another blue. I like that. And the second thing is just like, I don't know, like, our hand has Tranquil Fillback, which I think is very good in the matchup. Yeah. But in, in general, kind of, my takeaway from when we, we had CFT Soak on, which was playing the other Ashman Atlantis deck, but I think there's some stuff generalizes. Yeah. Is like, basically keep always yeah. with these decks. You just like, kind of the way your deck is, your opening hands won't look that good. It's okay. Mostly you should just say keep unless things are really non-functional. 
Mm. Okay, so Frillback doesn't actually... I mean, I guess we could Frillback destroy the case. Yes. Then they can't activate. I'd kind of rather, like, Deluge and let them activate, and the next turn Frillback kill the thing and gain four life. Maybe. I mean, that's not obviously better, because when one attack is gaining six life. Uh, I guess that's true. Okay, maybe we should just do it. Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, hold on, it's complicated. Because this token, though, does mean that, like... The token matters. The token... Because we, 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 we will essentially get the token for as well if they target the token. Well, except the fact that the token flips into a 3-3, three, three, and this is a 3-3. Three, three, like, yeah, I, just, I think I just want to play Frillback. Yeah, and kill the case. Yes. Okay. We'll never know who stole the Falcon, Greg. We'll never know. It could have been anyone. Also, I would have bet money that this was a 2-4. What, Trinkle Fillback? Yeah. Why? I don't know, I just thought it was a 2-4. Okay. I mean, I played this card in Construct. I cashed an energy with this card in my deck. Okay, okay. So I know it's text box. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, I've played it before, too, online, on stream. I really thought it was a 2-4. It has 2-4 vibes. Look at it. Look at how 2 4 it is. Greg kidding if it has 2-4 vibes. Yeah, because now it just sort of seems like we've bought all the time in the world. Yeah. Which I do like. Although because of No More Lies, we, we're, def we're strongly incentivized not to main phase unless they tap out. Correct. I don't think they have it, though. Well, pe perhaps not. Okay. I mean, that's somewhat scary. Yeah, it definitely is, but what you're going to do? Slam Deluge? Yeah, I like Delusioning. Boy, those are not good. I'm going to get untapped green, I think. Because we have a majillion of these tap ones. Sure, okay. I mean, the next saw graveyard, we might need some, though. Oh, that's true. I think I would just take the, the lane, and then I would still play one. Okay, right? yeah. Was my guess. What I would and do. I'm going to go get red, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Sack their clue. They're just gonna pop their relic and draw. They probably shouldn't do that. I don't understand what why they would do that. But they didn't do it. They cracked their clue. And yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean the four four is kind of scary. Mostly we just need to draw like a thing that does anything. Okay, I mean, that is definitely a good draw. Um, I mean, I kind of want to fire it X4 at the Siren. No, I think we could do that. With the idea that, like, look, even if they exile our graveyard, it's actually just fine. We'll just... You're trying to bait them, yes. Well, yes. I'm in. Well, I, I, it's kind of good if they do good if they don't, right? Yes, yes. I, I'm, I'm not I sure bait yeah. is the I mean, right maybe word. It's, it's, it's unexplainable. I mean, bait would be like casting virtue, uh, casting Garen Bring the Rose to get yeah. something back, which isn't an insane play, but like... That one is... Okay, well, I mean, if they're waiting, we will get back four lands. I mean, yeah. we did have plenty more where that came from, but yeah. we're perfectly happy to utilize these. And I mean, their thing is a 4-4 four, four clock, which which is, is significant. I mean, the, they're hitting us for 6 a turn now. Yeah, I will point out we did just gain 4, though. Well, I know. I, I'm just saying, I think this is obviously good for us. I don't think this game is actually, like, over. Oh, I, I agree. Sorry, I was I was assessing the fit of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, I think the advantage bar is on our side, but not by all that much. Yes. Like, they have to do it now, because otherwise we'll flash a village. So that, the, yeah, now. Yeah. It's sort of like, if they were going to do that anyway, I mean, they probably should have used it in response to our thing, and then... Yeah, maybe they didn't realize that World Soul Rage does that. Yeah, admittedly, it's very hard to realize that. Yeah. Okay, this is terrifying, because um, now we're dogs, right? Okay, I mean... 
Well, we should play Virtue, right? Oh. Play Virtue, play Nyssa. Okay. Play a tap land. Hope to find an analyst. Sure. That, that seems good, yeah. I mean, or more accurately, it seems like what we should do. I don't really know how good it is. Oh god, I guess we can't activate the analyst. Oh, I should have found more green. Uh, well, no, it was fine until you played the Nissa. You should have tapped two lands and then used some of the green on the Nissa. Mm, good point. Well, I would want to use, like, the analyst isn't even that good right now because our. Oh, I see. I mostly meant after blocks, but. Because I can use the analyst off this. Yes. Well, hmm, yeah. Um. Like, do I... I guess I should play the animal. You definitely should play it. And then we we, we might even want to use it because right, we might we mill might in the lands. Yeah. We, we just kind of need to consider it. Okay, I think we should... So it gains two life. It gains life. two life. So we gain two life for 11. 11. I mean, 11 is a key break point. Yes. Okay, so I guess we should do it then, right? Well, I think so. I mean, we could also just block with the analyst. That gains more life. Oh. Because what I like I about we that, we're not now. dead to a single removal. Okay, maybe we should pass. I think we should pass. Why well, do we know if it's about being a removal spell? It's more just like we should gain more life. We don't right. need more. Mana. Also, like yeah, we want to yeah. We'd like to leave the Nissa around, ideally, I guess. Yeah, X22. I'm 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 unsure of the serious level, this level of your statement, so I don't really know how to respond. What I would say is. Tranquil Fillback is not close to the line of being too strong, if you're serious. If you're trolling me, you got me. <laughs> uh, so, like, it seems like we should block, like, this, maybe? Well, yeah, that seems good. Like, Nissa might get back another Analyst, which would definitely be worth yes, keeping yes, around. Yes. Okay. Oh, we definitely don't want to chump the Nissa with. I think yeah, that's yeah. pretty crazy. I mean, I guess we could have blocked the two things and gone to two. Maybe that was better, actually. Well... No, no, it was nine damage. We're at nine. Oh, right. We didn't gain two life. Yep. We, the, the, the thing is, we can't do that. Yeah. Uh. Okay. We're gonna need a lot to get out of this, but it's possible. Agreed. What? What? <laughs> Why did they concede? I mean, I think they assumed our hand wasn't three lands. <laughs> Well, see, okay, <laughs> just to be clear, here, here, here's our out, which, yeah. which does definitely exist, which is we could have played the land, found after the land, played after the land, says Milan to Deluge. Yes, I, I understand. Which will win, like, instantly and mostly turn us Yes. Um, if we don't hit it, it's a little trickier, but it's still not necessarily over because we can block with the Analyst and block with the Nissa and sack the Analyst. Right. And that will re-trigger the Nissa on their turn. Yes. So I think we might have won that game. Okay, and then we, we had another Nissa, so that next turn we can like play Nissa, play another tap land. Yes. Like me, yeah. So now I don't know if we had it there. Obviously, if Nissa there, we're just dead. Yes. But I think if we hit analyst, I think we might be winning. And there even were, if we brick on the Delos. Since we thing. drew the Nissa, there were three analysts and two Nissas left in our deck. Yes. So we were favored to hit it. Right, and, and from there, I I think that we're maybe about fifty percent to win. Yeah. Like, it's close to 50%, but, like... I like how many times we make the joke in the stream, like, what if our opponent's hand is all, you know, all two of clubs and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and that time it just was, and our opponent scooped. Yes. Hmm. That is what they referred to as a Zach scoop, we, in the sense that, yeah, our opponent was nowhere near dead, but also, I'm just trying to point out that, like, even though it looked like you are in a bad spot, and we sort of were, yeah. it actually wasn't as bad as perhaps appears. Yeah. Anyways, we won all of our matches. We did win all more of our or matches. Less. More or less, yes. Uh, what I would say about this deck is, it seems good to me. It seems good to me, too. I don't I, think it seems insane or anything. I, like, I am not sure if it's better or worse than the other analyst deck. Yes. That I that I am very uncertain of still. Yeah. I started the stream concerned about it. I am the stream concerned about it. Yeah. Um, But this deck feels good to me. I don't know if the Seed of Hopes are right or wrong. Yeah. Th that that I'm also very open to. I'm not saying, like, oh, you should absolutely play Seed of Hope. Yeah, I mean, it is funny that, like, we cast Seed of Hope, what, like, three times and we did whiff once? Yes. Which, you know. That is definitely true. Yeah. But, mo but what I will also say is... I mean, look, fundamentally, the Analyst of the Shell in Standard seems really strong to me. I agree. Like, I'm pretty sure that if I had to play a high-stakes Standard tournament tomorrow, I would play a Nissa Analyst build. Yeah. I don't know which one. I'm, yeah. open, I'm open to be either. 
But, yeah. And, I mean, look, like, World Souls Rage was really good every time we cast it. Like, our deck being 60 cards and just having it a lot. Yes. It's being Aftermath Analyst slash Nissa. Yeah. Was very good in this. I, I do think we saw the strength of the team I built here. Yeah. Um, even if, I'm not saying there were no weaknesses. We, we saw the weaknesses a, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, that that, that that's kind of where I'm at. Do you have, do you have some, some, some thoughts? Not really. I don't want to play this deck at the Pro Tour. I said this to Andrew before the stream. This is not Greg's style of magic, you know? Yeah, but don't you also want to play the other one? No. I want to play a deck that attacks with creatures. That's what I like to do. Well, yeah, but what if the analyst decks are better? Mm, then I'll probably play the analyst deck and be sad. I don't know if that's true, but I do think it might be true. I agree that it might be true. Oh, what about consider? Is consider? Can we have the list pretty please? It's right here. What, what do you mean? We're showing you the list. <laughs> this is the list. <laughs> I... Oh, sorry. There are a few cards you can't see. There's two negates, two tranquil fillbacks, and a goose mother. Yeah. It, it's, it's a, this is a pretty like stock build of this deck, plus or minus Seed of Hope. Is also, you can exclamation well. point deck to see the picture. We don't have a text version. We're sorry. Um, oh, does Untapped work for you? Oh, Untapped hasn't worked for us for a little while. We should try and do that. Eh. Eh. I would say that's of low priority to me. Okay, it's of higher priority to me than it is to Andrew. But we, we can do that some We'll but, see how much more of But yeah, I mean, I think this deck is good. And I mean, like, okay, like, I was talking to Greg a little bit about this, but I actually, for, for a long time, I was like, yeah, we should think about Standard, but like, it's weird because nothing in Standard matters till OTJ. Yeah. What I realized is there's an Arena Qualifier Weekend. A Max is the term that I've been using. M magic Arena Qualifier Weekend? Uh, qualifier? I, I, I was going Magic Arena Championship series. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But there's a Max Qualifier uh, that is pre-OTJ Standard. So what I would say is, uh, yeah, I'm going to play in that tournament, maybe. And if I do, I might play this deck. Yeah. Um, it's... Pretty, it's something that I would seriously think about. Uh, I'm not saying I'm 100% or anything, but yeah, like I, I could definitely see going that way. So, eh, yeah, that's basically where I'm at. Yeah. We're going to raid Tom Ross. Oh, that's a great choice for Snoop. Playing some standard Convoke, which I still think is a great choice. And it looks like they just started their stream. So you should go enjoy their stream. Yeah, Th Tom Ross is nice. Yeah. Can't beat the cutup. Yeah. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> also, how do you feel about Nonsense Limited tomorrow? I'm open to it. There's some Nonsense Limited we can play. It sounds fun to me. So anyway, tune in tomorrow for Limited that may or may not be Nonsense Limited. Uh, and then more Constructed on Wednesday. We're back to our normal stream schedule. I'm back from the Chaos Zone and all that. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments below what you think about No Gurk. It's not Cube. It's more nonsense than that, trust me. Anyway, we'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in, and Sister Magic out!